All right, let's start the stream. Eat me. Okay. And uh, the others do too. Okay, so here we go. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to our Project Game Day stream live during Gamescom, not at Gamescom. At home. It's, it's still Gamescom, home. actually. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Oh, still today and tomorrow. But you don't want to be at doing, Gamescom. Coming oh. right at you during Gamescom. Uh, parenthesis, not, we are not related to any Gamescom event in particular. <laughs> Just in parallel to Gamescom. That's it. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, I'm Felix A.K. Luxen. I will do the game development. And with me in the voice chat, as so often, are Henne A.K. Geflügel and Stefan A.K. Regidan. Oh! No way. And also, for the first time again since the wrong time, Hi. our music bot now again working. You mean finally. sound bot? Oh, sorry, sound bot. Yes, the music bot has always been there too. Let's unpause. So we got some music that gets us all those great DRM. Now, uh, what is it? Music copyright strikes. I forgot all the sound names. Can't play the sounds anymore because of that. Do you do you know the, the folder still? It's uh, in yeah, the of course, of course, of course. Felix, actually, please. I actually uh, on my machine I can actually open a web page and have like a uh, very nice list of buttons that I can click, but for whatever reason it doesn't work. Like it, the, I don't. It, the bot cannot play the sound when I click it on a web page. I have to type the command on Discord. Calm down, calm down. Oh yeah, all those really Everybody new sounds. Calm down. Oh no. <laughs> God, what man. have you done, Felix? I have so many What have I done? Give I me a regret. second. How many? I regret that I. We have 32 coronary sounds. That's not oh. enough. <laughs> 30 what? 32 coronary sounds. Oh no. Why? What is the coronary? That, that... Uh, let me explain. No, coronary no, is... no, no, please stop. No, I regret everything. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um. Yes, in our game streams. Why is Resident so calm? Is he on medication? I mean, I am on medication in general. Yes, like probably is every adult. <laughs> okay, that's true. Um, I can make Stefan a bit louder if it's hard to understand. Um, I am on my p personal PC. That's probably why. Yeah, that that might be why. Because it's and weekend, microphone. so we are not working, right? No, Some I should us. stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting too much overtime. Um, yeah, so, uh, game does streams. Um, I will be working on some uh, editor tools today. Um, in particular, our animation tools. I mean, we already... Oh, wow, what's happening? Okay, uh, Jack Roscoe... Jack Roscoe... Jack Roscoe Morant. It's very generous today, gifting subscriptions to a lot of people, including Geflügel and Regida. <laughs> Both <laughs> of you. Very kind of you. <laughs> I just thought, all right, all right. That, that's, uh, yeah, great. I mean, he oh, should have gifted one to, to Flora, so she didn't have to buy it this month. Um, I think she's using her Prime Twitch uh, subscription, that's, which yeah. is, and uh, shut up, let me talk. D uh, did you know that... <laughs> Did you know that um, long ago, right, in medieval times, Story ancient time. times, uh, a king bequeathed upon their subject uh, an ancient, <laughs> ancient boon. Each month, they could subscribe to their favorite ye Twitch subscriber <laughs> in ye old Twitch uh, dot uh, Justin dot TV. As it was known back then. It was then. called Justin.tv back then. <laughs> and uh, the king was actually called um, uh, Lord Amazing. Uh, Lord Amazing. Not many. Sounds very also, amazing. Also, if, if we ever do some underwater related content, mm. I just want to have a submarine called Prime Sub, you know. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> So anyway, up. give us your money. That's what I'm trying to say. Give us your <laughs> money that you can give to us for free once per month to your favorite Twitch uh, streamer, which is us. 
Right. Obviously. Obviously, yes. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So yeah, where was I? Uh, I will work on, on, on editor tools, um, our animation tool in particular. Uh, I'm not really sure how long this will take me. Uh, I didn't really prepare much. We will improvise going forward from that. Uh, we can also showcase some of the stuff uh, in particular, like the, the content we shown, our recent tweet and blog post, if you saw that. Um, yeah, like... Um, we reached at least some kind of milestone and that we made uh, a bit more progress with um, how we script combat and also graphics and environments and all that kind of stuff. And um, the next big goal actually will be to work on a boss enemy, um, but we don't have much th to show there yet. Um, we are now going into the graphic production phase more or less. But yeah. Um, Otherwise, yeah, there's actually some kind of stuff to show. Let's start with that. I mean, there's also like the option menu, right? Hey, Guillaume, check out my cru my grueling work I did this week. And also in general, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, write them in the chat. And uh, if you want us to notice the question, it helps to use the to use at ready fish games or at geflügel or at Regi radical regiden and um so we get some kind of notification so it makes it easier for us to to notice it makes it easier and we also got a lot of a lot more subscriptions through par pra line yeah like Prime. we got a whole lot of subscriptions let me see one by desi xoxo one by late as usual oh late as usual thank Thanks, you man. not the latest though we also got the uh, from super, super math dx saying ayo fire us as always that's uh very nice to hear thank you um when you watch vit with 5000 ping yes wait what and thanks again to Jack Roscoe and Morant for gifting all those subscriptions. And also so for gifting. a yeah, lot of video content <laughs> yes. produced gifting. yesterday. Now, maybe the number one uh, Crosscode influencer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks like it, right? Well, not, it depends. I mean, of course, there's uh, Linus Tech Tips, mm. if you consider that. But you, you mean, I mean, in terms of... Let's like say... Uh, the most dedicated influencer. Dedicated, yes. Yeah. But then again, <laughs> Linus Tech Tips is also very dedicated. Well, he's consistent, but you know, he's consistent, yeah. He has a lot also, of eyes on his <laughs> Also, um, speak also to our cutest uh, crosscode influencer, arguably, Yui Cannon, uh, resubscribed for the 31, 12, 31st month. 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 Mom. TH, I hate, I hate TH. We, we Germans do, uh, don't say month, we say month. No, months. no, no, you say months. Month, mom. Months, months. I say month, just like om nom nom. Monate. Nom okay, anyway, <laughs> the message, I hope you guys had fun in Gamescom yeah. and enjoy your stream. Thank you. Uh, we also saw something which we actually wanted to ask you about. We saw like a booth at Gamescom, which was from Indonesia. And we wanted to ask them if they know you, but I think we didn't. Or did we, <laughs> Hannah? What? Wait, what did we know? And we saw the Indonesian booth at Gamescom. Yes. And you didn't I, chill there, for there, uni? Yeah, uni? There was no you at the booth, like it was weird. Yeah, I, I, already, I already asked her. It was very, very sad, very sad. Mm. Um, what's the German word for month? It's, it's actually Monat. It's Monat. Monat. Or Monate, if it's plural. You know, Monate, Monate a word you can easily pronounce, unlike month. Month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Januar, Februar, März, April. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. let me see if I can stream some game stuff. Yes. Actually, game stuff? I thought this is a game dev stream. No, first it's a gaming stream. At least a bit of a gaming. I mean, screen. I did some mighty game dev this week. Oh yeah, 
unlike a lot of others uh, from our team. Um, so, let's see. Um, I mean, I'm just playing the stuff that you saw already uh, on the tweet. Yeah, first surprise, I actually faked the music. Like, we don't have music integrated right now. That's also why I didn't get any proper battle themes in the clip. That's still a work in progress, pretty much. And you can also use multiple weapons. I mean, sure. That's also still in there. I just didn't want it to show it yet. But yeah, I, uh, anim the animations are not done yet. So well, the animations are not done. And I wanted to show it roughly how it probably will look like uh, when the game is done. And we, I mean, obviously, there's still stuff you will polish more. Is like this at this stage of the game. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hoppala. I was noticing there's a, uh, some issue with the um, distortion shader. Mm -hmm. Is there? Yeah, if you look closely, if you're standing next to an explosion and you, s you stand kind of close to it, mm -hmm. um, Leia... Uh, Leia... <laughs> You know. It's late. You know gets distorted kind of awkwardly. Hmm. Who is this Leia you're talking about? It looks like <laughs> who's that Leia? Well, might I still need to look at this then. Also yeah, by the well. way, the these these spikes uh now are gone, right? But they shouldn't be. These these spikes. Hmm? Which spikes? That you can jump up the ledge there. These spikes sh oh. should have stayed. <laughs> oh, yeah. We still need the nature variants of the sp of the spikes because yeah, we yeah, should, that's true. That we is should true. change uh, the style when they're up You're there. Accurate. But yeah, otherwise, sure. Um, nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. Okay. Oh yeah, so that's uh, more or less like the stuff from uh, the content you saw from the tweet. Um, we got a bunch of feedback for the range combat. Um, I don't know. Um, like either it doesn't have enough feedback or it's too slow. And that's maybe something I can try to tweak later in the stream if there's still time. But it's, uh, yeah, like... Obviously, we it's can still polish. Point. Yeah, yeah. There will also be and like different ways how you can attack with the crossbow. There will be a charging attack, though I'm not mm. sure it will be available by default. Though we might. I uh, know, but that. but you will also not fight as many enemies probably in the beginning. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, to make it easier on on the players. Mm. Uh, so, uh, it probably scales better and i, I mean mm. that's why i thought like putting in pre-alpha would help but it's actually stupid yeah. if you if you're not into game dev you don't know what pre-alpha means um so probably better to say um early mm. like early gameplay footage work in progress you know mm. okay so there's a couple questions i think uh criticism too pretty. Dang. You have to. I guess Criticism. Have to. I, took, problem. I took this clip as at face value. This game will flop. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, will there maybe will, 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 um, upgrade or augmentation later to the stamina bar? Yeah, very likely. Um, <laughs> the, the stamina a, will. Huh? There's a question by Jack Crosscode Morad asking, how well do you guys understand American slang? Is it different in Germany? Uh, I mean, yes, obviously our slang is very different. And I I have to say, I'm actually learning a lot of slang from those videos. There's a lot of stuff I don't didn't really know. At least for me, that's that's the case. What videos? Like the, the videos by Jack Crosscode Morad. Oh, oh. Yeah, like, I'm... I'm I'm deep into the uh, like um, beat 'em up, like fighting game scene. Yeah. So yeah. I definitely have a lot of slang knowledge from there. Yeah, that was always <laughs> the case. I mean, you always knew more slang than I did, <laughs> so <laughs> it might probably be easier for you. Um, 
I felt at home. Mm. Jack. Jack Ross. Oh. Um, can you know slap enemies with a spatula? Hmm. Hmm. Me. Maybe, Maybe as I a mean, DLC. Okay. I see I you mean, already have a nice demo. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call it the demo. It's just just some first maps. Um. Uh, yes, Did we ever um, announce all the weapons that exist? No, not yet. Mm. So, so, so you know by now. Weapon. By now you know the hammer, the chakram, the sword, and the uh, crossbow. Crossbow. But there will be two more melee weapons and two more ranged weapons in the base game. Right. I think I, I said them at least once somewhere, probably also in a stream, but yeah, we never officially announced them publicly, so... But, well, like, during the death streams at some points, they will, they will pop out. Yeah. That's just how it is. Genau. It's Reesman says on the blog post, the bullet firing rates seem pretty slow. Yeah, it is slower than crosscode. I can easily fix this right now, it's just one value. I actually made it a bit faster. Like, I actually noticed myself that um, if you have an enemy that you can only fight with ranged combat, just shooting the arrow at it feels... doesn't feel so good. So that's why I made it slightly faster. I, can I had an idea for that too. Hmm? To make it more interesting, um, to give it a little bit more oomph. Yeah. And that came from... Shit, I forgot the game. Um, I forgot the game, but it was basically... Um, every time you shoot, yeah. uh, uh, the, the character, the player character would take a different, a little bit of a different pose. Mm. What was that game? God damn it. But that so, helped a little bit because yeah. it, it made it look cooler, you know? Yeah. Like, There's also still a lot of polishing. In fact, I actually wanted to uh, add a bit of sounds. Like for the shooting, the shoot doesn't sound very satisfying right now. Like sounds, sounds very mechanical. Uh, I was thinking of even adding like a small impact sound, especially if it hits the wall. But maybe even additional impact sound when it hits an enemy. I think that's mm, something we mm. can try. Um, tweaking effects obviously will help. Um, Just it, learn from Masurai Sakurai the, uh, uh, from his new. We, we never heard of this. Hit stuff before. Wow, guys. Whoa. And this FPS, what is that? We just yeah. learned. I mean, it's, it's like it's pretty basic concepts, but they're very it's nicely cool. explained and still yeah, very compact. Definitely. So I do like the channel. Um, it's it's almost like as if the guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, the hit, the, hit like stop, the hit stop one was, I feel like that, that was pretty good because he is right. A lot of games often forget that. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I actually really liked his. Uh, thing about uh, when you're being hit you want to have a hit stop so you see what happened in fact mm -hmm. i actually did this for crosscode you remember uh, initially in the beginning you were just when you died in crosscode during early access you actually didn't have a hit stop it was just like oh you just died like a normal enemy and that's actually uh for the full release i think i patched uh, the way when you die that there will be there is a slowdown right so you mm -hmm. really see what is happening and i did this for project terra now too so i think that's that's a good idea in general like when you die there should be a, a freeze frame so you actually see why you died right yeah that's Here. why i added the the low health slowdown too because i felt like mm. you can do it when you die and he had, had this amazing showcase uh with the uh, shoot shoot em up games right mm. Where he even added um, like rum, uh, like screen shake. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, these things help so much. Um, like I, thought, I always thought that when you when you die, then you're already dead. Um, you're dead in real life. So on a, just on a just on a whim, I was like, huh, what what if I say like when you low HP and you get like a slowdown? Mm. It was one of those things where I said, like, I don't know if this will look good. It does, I think. I mean, it, it's, it's. I mean, uh, Nier Automata did something similar, I think. 
So, um, oh yeah, yeah. I think that's where I said I got it from, right? Yeah, um, yeah I, I yeah. do like the idea a lot. So I, I like this pause. Like it's kind of like what we did with uh, Elemental Overload, and I actually really like this really long accelerated pauses because that's, it kind of gives you like a break to kind of like recalculate, right? And like there's nothing worse like uh, you everything happening too fast and you have no way to react. This always feels unfair, and this kind of thing kind of gives you like an extra pause, so you. You can adapt your strategy like thinking about where you need to escape to use a healing item and stuff like that you know True. um a question by jack crosscode morant uh, will there be different ranged attacks and abilities from different weapons or skill tree slots so like there will be different weapons i mean we should already showed like there's a crossbow there's a uh, the check ram and they actually already behave in different ways like check uh crossbow is just a straight shoot attack check ram will return to you so you can actually hit enemies twice with it um and uh those they will have different combat trees and uh like s special things like the uh for instance the crossbow will likely have a charge attack while the check ram will have um Kind of like we'll have different special attacks where it's about recalling it at the right moment. Kind of like uh, the X in uh, God of War. I mean, that's at least the idea currently. Um, and uh, the other ranged weapons will also all behave slightly different. So that's actually why I think the combat, like a lot of people were kind of from the video concerned, like this looks a lot like cross code. But I think at least at latest when we add the new weapons, which will all behave differently, I think. Uh, it will kind of stand out more, like, uh, will, will be more its own thing. Uh, but that being said, I mean, obviously it will be kind of similar to Crosscode. I mean, that's exactly what we were going for, you know. Horizons, Horizon Forbidden West played exactly like the second. Not exactly, but very close to the first one. Too. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. I have to say, like, yeah, they 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 also did change melee combat yeah. and added combos and stuff. Yeah, it's not like Dark Souls reinvent the combat every uh, every new game, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, and I personally, I'm always like, yeah, I like playing. For instance, right now I'm playing a game called Tamisia, which is heavily mm -hmm. inspired by Bloodborne and Sekiro. Yeah. I don't mind it. I want that kind of content. Mm. So I'm totally cool with the game playing similar and the same as with um, Dark Souls, right? People love every new mm. Dark Souls. It's basically yeah. the same. Even Elden Ring plays like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluxo says uh, no devolve death animation particle effects from defending enemies. You probably mean defeated enemies. I mean, yes. Uh, that is exactly something we still want to add. So yeah, that's one point where we add more polish still. So. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah. believe Toby Fox will be doing the soundtrack for this game. He won't. Um, <laughs> bra, the sand. I mean, I would what? be surprised if Dennis at some point knows, uh, 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 lets, uh, gets to know Toby Fox and then t tells him, hey, Toby, let's call up. And then Toby I think says, that's yeah. unlikely for certain reasons. So. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Um, probably some stories you don't know about. Okay. Um, there will be an will be early access for this game. I mean, yeah, we probably will do early access. Um, probably not for as long as in Crosscode because we don't have layer in this game, so there will be no long early access. Hopefully. Um, so oh, there it, will be, be, it will be a bit there later. Might be a, there might be a C in this game, so there could be short early access. A C. Yeah, there's mm. there's a C, so yeah, here we, there you go. Um, <laughs> will there be a T? Will uh, there be T? Oh, T, like the drink. Uh, actually, yeah, sure, why not? T is nice. I like T. Um, yeah. Will there be T in the game? Yeah, very likely. Yeah. Has to. Even. Welcome, uh, Kovac. I'm waiting for you. Make caramel dunson. Oh, yeah, caramel dunson. Uh, Maybe. If somebody requests this again and gives me 50 euro, then uh, I will implement it. No, no, no. <laughs> the same way it happened for CrossCode. <laughs> Wait, that's how it worked? Yeah, like somebody in our community just gave me some money in cash and said, please add this uh, add layer as Karma Dunson. So I did this. At, Truly, at the, we at were the young. And, and then there you go. That's why you have uh, 
Carmel Dunson in Crossco because somebody gave me cash. So there you it go. It was some dark times. <laughs> we were young and needed the money. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> dark times. Not really. I just thought, okay, I mean, if he gives me money, I guess I might as well do it. Um, uh, will you unlock weapons or will they always be available? You will unlock them as you progress through the game. But uh, the mm -hmm. way we design it this time, it's like you will not get new weapons and elements up until the very end of the game. Like in Crosscode, you had like about three quarters through the main game, you got the last element. And we always felt this is a little bit strange because since each element has its own skill tree, you suddenly have kind of like you get all, so many skills at once and it felt a little bit weird. That's why we decided that uh, you actually at the very least about the halfway point you get all the elements and weapons and from this point on you kind of like develop in different ways so it's not like you will be static so nothing will change but uh, you get stuff like uh, new combat arts for instance which is uh, more like the focus or like uh, other m skills and equipment options that will give you more variety and uh, so the character development will essentially focus on those parts um nice tree color variety yes we wanted to make colorful trees again uh Indeed. needs more purple trees yes according to some people it has too many purple piece trees but i like purple so um yeah it's it's, it's all purple trees just like in cross code where, 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 where there were so many purple trees yeah like an endless amount um Oh, that sounds like Ghostwire Tokyo. They have the guy do a different animation. Oh yeah, like uh, you mean for the shooting, right? I'm I'm really lacking behind. I have to scroll faster. Oh yeah, I've yeah, yeah. I've seen like a you... bullet hell game where it's made the bullet that hit you really big so that it was impossible to miss which bullet got you. Yeah, that's another approach actually. Uh, I mean, the slowdown is very like it's almost. A best in best in slot option yeah. you have for this kind of uh, situation mm. uh, I love the over traumatic death screen yeah I mean if you mean the one from crosscode I think or from the video I don't know thank you anyway um we needed to add wasted screen from yeah I mean yeah I mean the wasted screen from GTA I guess is is it for slow motion? I think it is. No, no, it, it is like it doesn't slow. It slows down mm. while you're dying. Yeah. It doesn't stop. It's just ah okay. Just a slowdown. The screen is gray, but mm. you're already dead. And I mean, this game, I don't think has that good of like visual feedback on bullets, you know, because mm. it's like so realistic that you could do that. Jacques Horoscope Moran says, only issue I had with Elemental Overlord is that it seemed to lag my game a bit on Xbox One. It lagged mine on Linux too, said Scarby. Oh, that's that's actually interesting. I mean, we I know that these kind of like uh, zoom effects and uh, especially like this blur thing we did, I think, in CrossCode did cause some technical issues on PC. I didn't know it was an issue with console too, but probably the thing is like, um, I think this is mostly related be to us using the Canvas 2D API in CrossCode, which we had to ha hack a lot of things to make cool effects. And like um, in Project Terra, we use like GPUs and this makes it kind of like the, the more conventional way to do these kind of effects. So I hope they will be better optimized on many platforms, hopefully. Um, character can swim, character cannot swim. Yeah. Character can swim, but doesn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> like in Actually, the... um, Did I share this actually on our dis on, on the CrossCode Discord? Because it was really funny. Um, I think it's so funny that so many people say, like, can the character swim? And in so many games, characters can't swim. But yeah. in CrossCode, everyone points it out. Yeah. Please, there was. I posted something in the in the stream Discord. There was a tweet mm -hmm. that um, by some uh, Yuki Naka, uh, y y not Yuki, Yuji Naka. It's it's one of the main Sonic guys, right? Maybe. 
he was asked on Twitter by someone, um, it's a classic Sonic fact if true, uh, Sonic can't <laughs> swim because the developers thought he hedgehogs couldn't swim. And Yuji Naka answered, yes, I did not know that. I first learned that hedgehog could swing, swim when I visited a hedgehog shelter in Germany. But Sonic can't swim because I thought it would be better for him to have something he's not good at as a character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> nice there you excuse. go. In, there is your explanation. Uh, I just posted in uh, in Discord here as well, at a Discord Twitch. NBA 2K. Okay. Uh... It's, the first reply is when you can run on top of water, you don't need to learn how to swim. It's so Reese Man mean, says, yes? will there be cameos again? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. A bit hard to to say now. I mean, um, we, we, we don't before. plan, we don't yeah. pre-produce cameos, to be no, honest. They're always <laughs> like uh, edit spontaneously. Thing, but, uh, yeah. You definitely should, should need to keep in mind that... Um, it won't be as like crosscode that we. Um, it's it won't be as free of a scenario for cameos uh, anymore. Like yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a fantasy world with its own uh, story and its own like uh, society. Um, <laughs> not like an MMORPG. Check crosscode morales ask. So can I add Jamorant if I pay you money? Uh, I'm. Um, a lot of money, so we can uh, kind of like argue license terms to do that. And I guess oh, yeah. that's, that's... We, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we can correctly calculate the cost needed to create assets and animations because you now need um, kind of a 3D model, right? For your, although mm. we can use a template. So. Yeah, but, but it's, mostly, it's mostly about like all the the issues of adding a real sports person to our game are like, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there might about... be licensing issues there. There might be it's like a licensing real issues. Top, uh, a real top uh, athlete sports person, I mean, how much can they cost? Yeah. $100? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Um, is that Ruta no Hi Ho? Hi Ho? Hi? Is it Ruta no Hi Ho? Hi Ho? Rhythm or hee ho, find a boss theme, like the music. Yes, I think that's it. Uh, how's it pronounced? Rudra, Rudra no hee ho. Uh, you mean treasures of the Rudra? Yeah. Rudra no hee ho. I'll probably say this very wrong. You anyway. can just um, say Quackwe. Quackwe. For now playing. Um, it's actually East right actually. now. Actually. It's I think actually East. I'm, I'm really still lagging behind, so it might have been before that. I don't know. Just um, do some game dev. No, I'm wondering, wondering at least at some point the questions get slower. So, um, can I make it if I have access to an animation? No, no. Are you guys trying to work with a publisher? We will most likely. Um, we're still not really fixed uh, on any publisher yet, but uh, we are looking and may decide on a publisher sometime next year. Maybe we will see. Um, there can't be enough purple trees we need more yes that's right question will there be party members and if yes can they fail like screw up one is overly aggressive or if one mp gets too low they stop helping and go to heal leaving the player with all the enemies um there will be party members but they will be somewhat different in cross code and it will be not exactly what you're describing in fact um I'm not sure if I should talk too much about this yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't spoil, don't spoil. Okay, yeah, you, yeah, I need to wait. Like, but we have some other plans for party members, but there will be party members, yes. Yeah, there will be um, people running around with you commenting on stuff. That yes, and they will also okay. take part in the battle to some extent, but differently compared to CrossCode. Um, will there be water in the game? I mean, drinkable water, because I'm thirsty today. No. People will all die of thirst in this game, obviously. Um, presumably the grass is green because it uses chlorophyll for photosynthesis, photosynthesis. So how do the non-green trees consume energy? I don't know. How do how do cherry blossoms consume energy? 
I guess it's like an alien planet. Oh, like it's like it, it's some kind of fantasy world or whatever. So it works. Um, with a B or B. Yeah, did someone just try to argue <laughs> how trees work in a fantasy world? Come on, yeah. guys. Will this there be a beach episode? Ruined. Um, will there be beach episode? There might be a beach. I'm probably no episode. Uh, my guess is there will be, but it won't be there today. Yes, character can swim. No, character can jump. Kinder. You know, can jump like this. But if you move and do this, you do this. That's jumping. <clears throat> How far am I behind? Because I didn't see anything. So, I hope the hidden gun in Predator will be Rocket Launch. Okay, question. Could there be a character NPC that's scared of water because he she thinks they will disintegrate? Cross code references. You want another Toby in Project Terra? Okay, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, water <laughs> wants the bringer of life. No, the bringer of death. Yes. Okay, Sonic can't swim but Tails can. Okay. Have you ever seen Master Chief and Leah in the same room? Both? Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a lot of games where characters come true, I think. Somebody better yeah. part of the Master Chief is pretty a cool guy. Yeah. He killed alien and doesn't afraid of anything. Wait, it's actually Halo is pretty cool guy, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that we know you're gonna be now. No, there's no way you're gonna get that law. My life savings would be gone, but I would be, would still consider. <laughs> yeah. The ultimate mission: get jump around into crosscode or pretty terror, I guess. Uh, imagine I can't leave without my body super flight. <laughs> <laughs> but in, what, what? You will uh, never catch up. No, never. I, I'm almost there, though. I'm almost there. Uh, oh, dialogues. Cool. I wish I could stay, but I need to finish my new classic. Good luck with that. We love you, Red Rage OMG. Okay, goodbye. Jack, Crosscode, Morant, Tree Lore. We need our tree. Cherry blossoms aren't green, but the cherry plants' leaves are green. Yes, they are, I know. Um, there are purple trees in real life, too. Are there? I mean, I did saw a lot of. Uh, blooming trees which are purple, but they never I never saw one that's permanently purple, so I don't know. Um, question I know we are far from release, but I was wondering if you thought of a deluxe edition like Crosscode, really like an artbook and stuff. I mean, we did this for Crosscode, possible it will happen again for Project Terror. It's always a bit hard to say ahead of time, that really depends if you find a good uh, partner to create these things with. Like, if Project Terror gets enough attention and will be as as successful as Crosscode, then I think it's likely. Um, it's beach episode means we get a Juno Swim Sweet model. Oh. Uh, no, please. not necessarily. The charity does have green leaves, yes. Uh, please. Guys, stop, stop. We must allow Laxon to say something. Shh. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm done! <laughs> I'm still all the And comments. now he realizes the nature of the chat continuing. Even after he's done. Yeah. It's like answering emails. Hmm. You're never done. Yeah, man, usually people ask most of the questions in the beginning, and I didn't want to miss any yet. In the beginning, right away. Okay, so, um, option menu. Can I show it? Options. No. <gasps> Options! Look at this. Options. Missing your no, eyes. Go on to the graphics option. You can actually change them. They're already st saved and everything. Wow. Deutsch. Everything is already done. On, off. Like in the graphics option, you can change the bitmap font and then play around with that option, with these options to see immediately Ooh. everything changes. And like I, I used the same thing for the switches because I was lazy. I wanted to work on something else. Hmm. Wow, so many font options. <laughs> By many, you mean three. <laughs> I mean, those are a lot of options. I mean, 
It's not just three. I mean, it's like here you have three options for the font style. And then you have like a different width of stuff. I also like, I tried around with um, icons. You can see mm -hmm. the audio options. Um, the the audio. Um, some people may oh, yeah. recognize um, the icon used for audio. <laughs> oh my, oh, you, you just used a freaking <laughs> hammer. Are you serious? No. <laughs> my old hammerhead. No, come on. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, it does look like audio. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. I got it. Oh, yeah. It looks like an audio support. <laughs> <laughs> was All the right. first thing I thought of. Great. Yes. I mean, <laughs> nice. Um, yes. So a lot of progress with menus. Yes, indeed. And there's lot, lots of. Um, what you got like changes under the hood, so to speak. Mm. Um, like the entire system for that. I can create these tab menus like liggity split. Mm. Which will help in the long run. Just how I made the and all the encounters so you can script them really quickly. Yeah. Exactly. And like that's like them. We were like really that... paying attention to how the structure things this time to like ease content development and I, I hope this will really show in the long run so we might be quicker with developing content hopefully I um, mean yeah we, we did this for things which we did a lot in, in cross code mm -hmm. right so it That's makes true. sense I feel like I mean we know what uh, kind of like consumed a lot of time so yeah I mean I do I do notice like working on enemies it just goes quicker because I mean you can edit an action while you see it here right so this is already a big advantage because in crosscode i just i mean you saw it probably in some of the game that streams i just edited the action and then i had to restart the game to actually see how it looks like but here i can just while i edit stuff i can modify things i can say oh you should dash faster let's make it five and faster or like make it slower you see this makes such a huge difference. Anyway, um, okay, I think I'm ready to go to actual development now. Um, yeah, uh, something I want to work on is um, the animation editor again. It probably will never be finished. I mean, but well, um, I mean, it's it's important. Yeah. Lots of things to uh, to do with. Okay, so what I want to work and do is uh, add this direction wheel to the graphics view and also collision base view, like uh, for all the views, because it really is something that you want to have for all um, for all the views. Because I noticed this, um, I wanted to adjust the graphics for the feed um, and you can't really do this properly because you cannot probably look at how the graphics look from the different directions obviously you can rotate the camera but this is not accurate because uh, when you actually rotate the character a lot of positions are rounded and those have an impact on how the graphic look like and that's why you have a lot of Graphics um, looking kind of weird, like I need to add a new animation to show this. Um, so this is how the character looks like. And those feet look wrong. Like I, it's all about tweaking the rotation values so they, they, they fit better. Um, but where do I tweak the rotation values? Here in the graphics view. But here I cannot, I don't get the proper preview. I have to rotate the camera. It's not accurate. So this sucks. So I want to make this, uh, add this uh, rotation wheel to the graphics view and the other views too. And this will be a bit complicated because that means if I edit stuff like I move the graphics, I need to consider the rotation. Otherwise it will only work for one of the rotations. I mean that I can do this later in theory, but 
um, that that's also part of the task to make it add this tool properly. Um, Kovach asked, did you add more directions? Uh, Yuno had 16 directions for a longer time already. But yeah, Yuno has twice as many viewing directions as Yuno. Um, mm -hmm. Technically wait. also... Um, mm. Well, no, no you, can, you could move in every direction with the gamepad. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking like... Snowcha asks, will there be SDK similar to what Valve gives away to modders in Crosscode and Project Terra? Um, oh, no, we I did don't. think about maybe releasing the engine of Crosscode at some point. Yeah, like the editor is something that we, I, <laughs> at this point, like, we said, yeah, yeah, like. We could release but you have things. to, But you have to have the game, right? That was the idea, mm. like. We will release it in a way that you need to combine it with the game or for it to work. We kind of like thinking on how to do this. Um, for for Project Terror, we don't really don't really plan anything like this for now. Uh, we do kind of like mod it, build the game in a way that it's potentially easier to mod compared to Crosscode. In Crosscode, there already is a modding community. Um, that builds a lot of stuff and they did a lot of work to make it uh to integrate things properly and uh so we we will try to do some changes to make it easier for them um because the game is essentially all html5 and javascript based in the end it's still easy to understand easier compared to a binary i, I would say um <laughs> yeah so that's why it's kind of like inherently it's easier to mod than the average game, I would say. Um, but yeah, like um, explicit tools are not really planned yet because that's a lot more work. Like it's a different focus and it's, it's not really like a, a game that has modding as a, one of its core focuses. It's like a single player uh, narrative focus game. So it's not really this kind of game that is modded a lot. So that's why it's not really a focus. Um, you know, booty mod day one like Skyrim. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not on us to do this. We will see how the player, how the fans will work on it. <laughs> do whatever you must, chat. Yeah, the thing is, on on the one hand, um, you can easily create skins because there's less graphics you need to modify. On the other hand actually adding animations might be trickier without the proper tools right because uh doing Oof, all these yeah. things by hand is not that easy in crosscode we sometimes made assets in a way that is easy uh to modify them by jasons because that's how we modified some stuff in the beginning uh but um for terror we that never was like uh, the focus like we from the beginning we said we will have tools for most of our assets for all of our assets pretty much um that's why it might be harder to tweak uh, those things based on jason's though i mean then the again only... I, models can do incredible things so i wouldn't rule out they just find some way to create their own stuff um the only thing that's currently missing is a shader editor a shader editor yeah because uh, tweaking shaders on the fly is a little bit more tricky but yeah You have quite great animation editor there. Thank you. I mean, we've worked on it for quite a while, and we are keep we keep working on it. I mean, we even have inverse kinematics and all that stuff now. So, um, yep. yeah. Whenever we like, th that's the cool thing about having your engine. Whenever you see, oh, this would be nice if we have an editor or like mm -hmm. some routine for it, so it's easier to create the content for. Mm. then we can do that right yeah we'll just build it ourselves i mean we got uh our new animator on the team we wrote about him in the blog post right javid uh, yes the first Jav. thing we kind of like told him is like hey have a look at our tools and then uh tell us uh how you can work with that if there's anything missing because he had a lot of experience with uh professional 3d animation tools and uh yeah one of the first things he said he needed is uh 
certain tools including IK and that's why we implemented IK because uh, finally I somebody convinced me that this is something we need. I just want to say did uh, uh, didn't other people like Yes, Chris other people Thomas? said that too. I just didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> it, as I, as I um, said in in the talk we had there uh, mm. um if you're not um like someone that's in that industry right i'm, I'm not an animation guy then yeah. my opinion carries less weight because like how yeah you know honestly like, yeah. what i liked about uh, javid was he just explained me exactly how he uses inverse kinematics and why he it's a cool feature and then it suddenly made sense to me like uh, yeah. that's what Freeze and Thomas never did to me. Like explain me exactly how they would use it. Maybe I just didn't give them the time to do that properly. So that's probably why. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I think um, for Thomas and Freeze, I also have not that much experience as. Uh, I mean, at least Javid. Freeze has. Freeze has. Oh, Freeze. Uh, he does. He does really animations for his own project. So he probably could have told yeah, me that too. Right. But yeah, I mean that's. Uh, that's how it went, but anyway, now we have fi we finally have uh, inverse kinematics. Um, there was like a question if this is a pixel shader. Uh, the thing is, we don't really use the pixel shader. It's more like we use billboards with pixel art textures and rotate things. That that's a little bit uh, the trick here. Yeah, if you, if you the game just use a pixel, a pixel filter, art uh, shader, you would like. You, you would notice. Yeah. I mean, the complicated thing is that it's actually not really authentic pixel art in that we actually do scale things to become smaller. Like the pixel size is not 100% consistent. Like pixels back here are somewhat smaller than in front, right? The, the idea was just to minimize the scaling. Like they should not become too small and not too large, especially when they're next to each other. That was uh, the goal, but because we're doing stuff like this, it's actually hard to use pixel shaders because it's actually really hard to query. Okay, how large should this pixel be at this point in the screen? Um, we do. That's also why some stuff like the water shader is actually very tricky, making it look pixel like, even though it kind of like, um, kind of like has a screen-based shader. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, but yeah, um, that's just uh, the approach we took, and I mean it, it works for the most part. I mean the water shader will be an endless topic of tweaking things, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so um, I guess I will now go into coding mode and see if I find an approach to add this. All right, time to talk about. Uh games in gamescom in gamescom uh did flora still want to come by the way i don't know i pinged her she didn't respond maybe she's a bit tired after yeah i also did everything. feel a little bit not so great today but i'm feeling better already so it's probably nothing serious but you know being among so many people there's always a risk of catching something hopefully at COVID. but uh, especially like i mean uh, there was not a lot of mask enforcement or mask wearing overall. I was a bit surprised, but <laughs> I mean... Oh my gosh, not the subtle advertising, I'm sorry. What advertisement? I made? <laughs> yeah, because I'm drinking Arizona tea, I guess. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, okay. I just, I God know, it's, damn it's it. Tea. It's tasty, all right? It this is hard. his personal opinion. This is not a... <laughs> yeah, this is just my opinion. It's like not like... Like no opinion, no man. advertisement. Please don't please don't plug the stream. Um Please don't ban us. Hmm. My name is SN Ucher. Um can you make can you make you stretch you know in the animation editor if you can stretch you know well to some extent um, I can do for instance I can go to this arm here and say use the scaling property
uh, here it is, to make it longer. That only works to some extent though, only for some parts. Um, you underestimate my power. I was, I was making a chopper animation with Juno before. <laughs> okay. Can do stuff like this and this. It will, however, not look great, obviously. I mean, that's uh, the pixel art look will easily break if you overdo it with these kind of things because, yeah, the pixels are scaled. I mean, in this case, it actually doesn't look too bad because you only scale in one dimension. And yeah, but yeah, then you have gaps like stuff like this. That's because it works well for this, this bones, but not for those bones. They use a different kind of graphics mapping. So yeah, it's, um, it works to some extent. Doesn't work perfectly though. Gabi APF says, um, to, to the masking thing. Mm. It sucks. I went to two cons this year. Uh, the first one was very strict about masks and everyone wore them, but in the second one, they just checked that you had one coming in and then most people took theirs off. Yeah, I mean, um, you had like a few areas that were a bit more crowded that basically um, said, yeah, you should be wear them, but, that, but there was still no enforcement and not everyone wore them. Yeah. Like the indie arena, for Honestly, example. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it makes a difference because I mean, you wear the mask to kind of like minimize the amount of stuff that gets in the air when you cough and do stuff. And if you don't do it in the India arena, but all around the India arena, like, it will, I think it will make no difference. Like, it's, the stuff will spread in the uh, whole house. It's minimal. That's true. I mean, it's, like, masks are kind of like a tricky topic. It's really hard to say. I mean, they do work to some extent, definitely, but it's... Uh, Sometimes you, I kind of feel like... You heard it here like, first. Felix is an anti-masker. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, we got a subscription by some dude yeah. called uh, Deeks64. I guess... I, that, that, no, no, no. That's pronounced the K. The K. The K64. The K. He must be a pretty uh, a pretty late uh, internet... A guy who p came pretty late into the internet because there were already like 64 guys before him. Like the, the original Dake. 63. Deaky, and then this one to sixty-three, and yeah, a kind of fast, and, and I think he's really into into Amokos. Yeah, from looks that. like it. Yeah, and he said sus, might, so. might have been because he was uh, exposed to a lot of Amokos at Gamescom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do agree, Henna is kind of sus. Hard to I mean, deny. How can one person can come up with so many puns? That's true. Think about it, chat. Snoucher. Snoucher. Yeah, it's good luck at trying to explain a German English pronunciation. Uh, <laughs> Snoucher. Snoucher. Snoucher? What is Snoucher? Snoucher is how the name is pronounced. Snoucher. Um. Yeah, masks are pointless because people keep touching them and you're supposed to change them often. Yeah, well, uh, let's not get too much into the mask discussion. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Let me see. Uh, anyway, we, we were at Gamescom, did you know? And mm -hmm. it was pretty nice. It was... Uh, I mean, not everyone was there. Like, Stefan wasn't there, but... Nah, I'm not gonna indulge in that. Indulge in that... <laughs> in that decadence of Gamescom. In that amount and, of people. And the amount of food that we were eating. Uh, by the oh, way, I, I, mm -hmm. I ate a Schweinshaxe. And I totally ate it all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's Disgusting. actually super tasty if it's good. No, it is not. Oh, Why it not? Is. It is. Uh... I will send you photos later. No! <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a 1.1 1, 1. 1 kilogram. Uh, I remember uh, that it's called um, Knuckle of Pig or something. Knuckle of Pork <laughs> in English. So it's, 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 it's Knuckles. Knuckles the Pig. Hmm. And I ate him. And now he can't even chuckle. Yeah, it was very. It was actually very tasty. I mean, usually I'm very um, 
I'm very critical of like, um, as we call it in German, the Schwarte, like the outer the part. Schwarte. The Schwarte. <laughs> um, but that one was so, so crisp, crisp, but then also very, very tender and man. Yeah. And we shared a lot of it actually because it was so big and I, no, no normal person could eat it all by, all by themselves. You have never yeah. seen my grandpa eat. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, he will but demolish I... that. He's, he's like the duck with the bowl of peas. Yeah, he's he like... <laughs> His stomach, like, is made out of steel. Some shit. But nah, man. <laughs> There's some disgusting food. It can be crisp for me. Doesn't matter. I know what it is, so I'm not eating it. <laughs> so you're a vegetarian? What? No, what? No. It's big, I know man. what part of the pig it is. Sorry. I mean... Sh shouldn't it all be used? Yes, but I don't need to eat it, right? Someone else can say like, all right, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to take the Schweinshack to put it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let someone else who... I don't know. Like I... I mean, we can eat. We, we can eat much better food. But isn't that <laughs> a nice part of the of the pig? I mean, it's it's not the feet itself. It's above the feet. No. By the way, DK64 I mean, said it was nice seeing us there, uh, and it was pretty okay too. He guesses, and yeah, I, he's <laughs> right. And it's pretty okay. And it was pretty, was nice seeing DK again after three after so years. Much, yeah. It was it was so More. so wild. I, I I never thought about it, but actually we didn't see him in real life since the crosscode release. Yeah, that's like almost four years. Holy shit! And I think that was also the only time I ever saw him really. <laughs> <in real laughs> it's actually life, true. Actually. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we see each other often. So. so um, I mean, Flora sees him more often, I think, because they're both in Frankfurt. Yeah, that. And everyone Makes knows sense. each other there, right? So. Yeah, yeah, I don't... I mean... <laughs> but you know you know what I mean. People actually... <laughs> Hen is kind of mid. Stop using the word mid. I'm... 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 I'm uh, traumatized by the word mid because... Uh, uh, English manga fans overuse it so much about <laughs> shit. <laughs> they even do like very cool stuff, like calling a series xxx mid or mid xxx like for example for one piece they call it mm. mid piece because it's in their opinion a very mid series which it op which it they have op definitely more seasons than their favorite anime i just want to say they are definitely right about one piece being totally mid because i mean it barely has any fans yeah right? barely any fans <laughs> how many how many games does your slice of life uh, anime about girls in the school have again. Which one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, and I, I, I also think that One Piece also single-handedly ma made sure that there is no other pirate anime ever <laughs> being successful. It's, it's probably hard to go in there and be like, ah, let's make a pirate manga again. Hmm. I mean, unless you count Vinland Saga, I guess. But I mean, that's specifically historical Vikings, not. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if you you have to go into like the more realistic mm -hmm. part of right. it, but One Piece is just so fun Where you go, to space read, pirates. you know? Yeah, or space pirates. Yeah, like if you if you read, um, wait, I'm not talking about the anime. Obviously, that that one is stretched, you know, to the max. The, um, the main but, character is a is a stretchy mm -hmm. boy, so it yeah, makes sense. I mean. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like the the game, uh, the game, the the, um, the manga is like still interesting, right? There's still like mystery to it. Hmm. Yes. That feels like it was set up from the very beginning and not put on top, so to speak. Hmm. Yeah. Right. You can always yeah. like even even the anime even does it with sh kind of shows throwbacks, you know, when they come up. Which the manga not does. Well, yeah, that, but, that, but that's uh, normal because if because as a manga reader, it's easier to just go back a few chapters and 
we read stuff compared to anime watchers things. That's one of I the I mean, reasons. yeah, but like One Piece is like chapter over chapter 1000, right? And it sometimes sure. references like, you remember in chapter 100? <laughs> no, actually, I don't. Turns out that was important. Uh, but mm. Stefan, it's not even manga talking time. What are you doing? It's all your fault. All right, let's talk about Xenoblade. Xenoblade. No, let's talk about games from first. We, sh we should talk about everything first, even though we have to then say, Stefan, haha, you can talk about it. Uh, anyway. It's fine for me. Like... Yeah, yeah, and yet mm. you can still comment on the interesting things we say. Like, for example, we, we met Hair Decay at Gamescom. This... Because, did you know that Hair Decay works not for Hair Decay, but instead for Deck 13? Yeah, I knew this. This blew my mind. Kuma and, Shaska, uh, ah, sorry. Yes, um, yes. yes. Um, anyway, anyway, I can, I can have, a... have a demo that animation, of the animation editor and try it out. Hmm. Well, <laughs> no. maybe at some point. That is literally, that is literally our, where our money is right now. Yeah. State of the art right now. Yeah, that's like, there's no other animator that does what we do. I mean, with um, you had at the very least you would have to write, <laughs> sign an NDA, and uh, no, Felix, not even consider it. Yeah, I mean, it's... let's not do that right now. I mean, at, at least wait until we actually have early access stuff, so we can. Yeah, that's true. Because at that point, people can hack it anyway. <laughs> so... mm. Felix is too soft-hearted. I am sometimes. Unless it's with his. With his employees, then he's a hard ass. Yeah, he keeps us on a tight leash, like <laughs> yes. it is. And, and the thing is, yes, the thing yes, is, we're yes. into that. We're into that kinky stuff. So mm -hmm. it's all. Look, I did okay. a nice thing. I made it that uh, the wheel is only there for all the views, but for animation, you get all the other options. Huge. And I can, if I th think, if I make this so nothing, it's gone. Amazing, guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm actually kind of surprised this works. Does the uh, middle mouse button thing work too? Uh, probably not. For me, the priority right now. Yeah, I no. can maybe I I can switch that on so it works. It's like uh, control and oh, actually I first need to enable face again. Control and middle mouse button. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, you probably need to add this to all the controllers or something. Um, uh, it is it is tied to the um, to the main file, but it just reacts only to the animation view right now. Mm. I think is what I did for the uh, figure editor because that yeah. was based where every figure had its own rotation thing. But yeah, that, that is not, not hard to implement, thankfully. Oh. But nice to see, like, I think that will be very useful. Hi, Emuki Brats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Hello, Emmy. What's bopping? What did, what did Lee's Bob send her? Can I open this link? I will just do it and regret it. I'll check, I'll check. Oh, it's, These it's, sweet it's Sonic, ads for I our think. detective agency aren't like working, SPO! Look, oh no, it's Spyro, it's right. Spyro, right? It's Spyro the Hedgehog. Yeah, okay. That's Is it not? Me. No, it's Sonic. 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 Okay, now I need to find a way to add. Um, I know what I'm saying. Just see how complicated. Just see how complicated. Yeah, that, that. I mean, <laughs> you know, that is like Bill Gates was walking into Apple once too and was like, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> hmm. Did you know that, that Bill Gates once died of Ligma? 
Who the hell is Bill Gates? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. And I... I'm hovering over your name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, is it is it because of love or affection? Oh my god. Like Stop. you're thinking, oh, Hannah, your name is so nice. Let me stroke it with my mouse, <laughs> mouse button, mouse thingy, mouse <laughs> cursor. <laughs> <laughs> is it like this this one uh what is this one word again that you like to to, to say again felix uh egg is it egg erg what erg erg i don't know <laughs> this one uh sea lion yeah, yeah. noise Berg. whatever it was yeah anyway hannah are you done with your gamescom stuff oh, actually I, I, I constantly am interrupting myself. <laughs> I know, Hannah. Yes, yes. We, we we talked with lots of people, and we were on a nice in a nice indie arena, and did did the things. We played games, and there were so many good people in there. Did you know that uh, even already very successful games were in there, like Dwarf Romantic and um, Needy girls, DD streamer girl overload. I, f I constantly forget how the name is uh, ordered. And I talked with the developer of that game a bit. Well, mm. through a translator. It's because mm. they are Japanese. And also, there was a very interesting game. It was a game by some Swiss uh, mm. bachelor students. It was like a text adventure, but modern. Mm. It was very interesting. Mm. And. There was also a game that is by Raw Fury. Actually, they had many games. They had four games. They were a lot of good games. And But one of those games was in the indie arena. And it was made by Germans, by a German <gasps> uh, husband and wife couple. And it was called, uh, I think, I forgot the name. Was it Domekeeper? Domekeeper? Was it Domekeeper? It was Domekeeper. And wait, what? Oh yeah, okay, no, it was Donkey. <laughs> and it's it's uh, uh, it was kind of called um, both Kingdom in Space, but also mm -hmm. Vertical Kingdom because you are uh, defending like a dome on some alien planet from enemies with a big laser cannon, mm -hmm. but at night. Oh, no, rather when the monsters are not coming, I think it's day or night, I don't know, it's the space planet. No, it just uh, randomly happens. No, no, it's, <laughs> it, has a, it has a loop. Uh, you go deep underground, kind of like in Ter Terraria. Or at least it looks a bit like Terraria if you do it. And actually, I, I plan to play the demo, because there's a free Steam demo on Steam that you can play. And it gets released next month. We're making advertisement for a different game, aren't we nice? But then I didn't play it because I got into the mood to play Kingdom again, <laughs> which yeah. I haven't played in years. <laughs> anyway, nice stuff. And we also uh, we also did some other things. We talked to some other developers. Did you know there's a game maker booth? There was a game maker booth, and they gave away free fans. So now we have. Yeah. So, so finally, we we had some fans at the Gamescom. Because we didn't meet any other fans. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. We also meet. And now, this is a nice transition. We also met fans that are also humans, like real fans. Mm -hmm. And that was also legit very interesting because, uh, first of all, our fans are great. Second of all, one of our fans, at least one of our fans, is also a game developer and worked, slash works, I'm not sure if it's done, on uh, Sifu. Stefan, what is Sifu? Talk about it. You Sifu? It. Yes. Yeah, I, I played Sifu. Yes. It was like a brawler, brawler type of game with yeah, you. You're a like, Kind of. Hmm? Yes. It's it, it's very based on like kung fu movies, right? And like the story is also very kung fu movie, like with the revenge and the master and everything. Yeah, yeah, but but it's like. Uh, um, has like this mechanic where you get older when you die. Right. So you can actually... <laughs> you 
you can sort of game over and then you ha you don't have to restart from the very beginning so it's you can like go back to an earlier chapter and try to get a better age you know that you come out of that chapter and then mm -hmm. go to the next chapter and try that again and yeah um, and and also yeah. even if you die for real then you still ha have unlocked shortcuts at least that you oh, can yeah, use again, uh, yeah exactly time. you also like you ha you haven't unlocked them but you find stuff in the levels that gives you shortcuts right um, right that's the thing yeah so you can like go quicker to that mm. yeah that's, that's true and it's like it's it's fun it's a it's a pretty short game mm. and if you if you like into tight action games and you you you're kind of um proficient in like parrying g kind of games um then it might be a little too short for the price tag i can mm. see that <laughs> uh, but otherwise it's like a nice experience interesting thing is i mean we we actually um um this one crosscode fan of ours i forgot uh, his name again do you do do you know the name again felix i uh, maybe don't say the name oh mm -hmm. no it's wait wait yeah it's a, there's a there's a person and we we don't know the name sadly but it was very nice we saw things it was very nice <laughs> well is it secret yeah. i'm not sure if it's secret anyway no, we, 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 we do I mean, I mean, I mean, just like maybe they don't want their names to be. That's true. That's true. Strong anyway, we, we we saw a bit of Sifu, not secret stuff, to my knowledge. We just saw mm -hmm. a bit of it. Getting play Thomas played a bit of it, and I mean, you uh, you say it, it it could be too short or too easy, but first of all, Thomas had a lot of struggle with it <laughs> because he's he's not as 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 much of a parry master as you are, I guess. And also, um, they are implementing a hard mode, or well, have implemented a hard mode over here. So oh, yeah, I'm, that's I, that's nice. I'm not going to go back. I played through the game, and I don't enjoy playing through story-driven games multiple times. I see that? If they like, we got a subscription by Valley One who scrapped for six months. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, but but it. The game looks really nice, so maybe I will actually play it at some point. Because it yeah, looks like a nice game you could like play the, on the side now and then. The levels are also really nice and really creative. Mm. Um, in uh, Some of them also have like really cool, I would say, like, mm. transforms. Like how they, how they evolve over time. It has a very vibrant look to it. There was uh, one boss that had like a really cool stage transition. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, small game development update. I now got uh, the rotation here working, but the issue now is that obviously all the graphic positions are not updated. So now I want to at least have those widgets on the right position. I guess it's optional to do that, but I mean, it would be much nicer. Actually, what would be really cool, and uh, maybe I will even go that far, is that you can actually select an animation, and if that animation is active, you actually see the animation pose here when you tweak the graphics. Uh, but yeah, that's maybe for later. Then you need at least an option to disable that, I guess, because right now always an anim they always have an animation selected, so... Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, what else? Um, yes, we also talked to the to the person who did this other blue-haired uh, hero game, and I have to ask again, what was the name of the game again? Because I was constantly confused with a different game. <laughs> this one game maker game that we uh, met the no, person. No, um, was it Berserk Boy? No, like not uh, not that one. The the blue hat. Oh, the one with from Ben. Yes. Ben Gander. Was it uh something? Riv. Oh God, damn it. Rivita. Uh, Rivita. Something like this. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. The big question that I have Rivita now is. Rivita game, isn't that? Yeah, that's. A, I think that. Didn't the th didn't that game had have like a uh, have like a yeah, character that's the one. that Rivita. Hmm? Yes, 
I saw it on Steam and I was like, wait a second, was that the game? I thought the main character had like long hair back in the day, but maybe I've, I, I'm... There's I another game where you had the blue character with long hair, it's not that one. Uh, <laughs> but what was that? Go no, no, not that one. <laughs> Not talking about Crosscode, Felix, <laughs> for your information. No, 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 there, there's another one. I know, there's long, uh, like, uh, it's more of a sci-fi-esque uh, yes. <sighs> platform. We did a stream drawing for them once. I forgot yes, the name again. Yes, and, and that one had, uh, and that one also had, like, I think, some shooting in different si in different directions, right? Sure. Or was it a different one? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm so confused. There <laughs> are so many games. <laughs> I'm just trying things. Yeah, you, yes. you find Crossgo when you do that. Uh, that yeah, but yeah, the, game that, the, game that, the game that I was thinking about was like the, a game with a long haired, uh, with a blue haired girl yeah. who had like long blue hair, I think. And she had like, I don't know if it was open hair or ponytail. In the I think game ponytail. <laughs> Not unsighted. It was like a very, it was like a, um, she also had horns, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had horns, and she, and she was more on the surface on the most on most of the screens that us that we saw. Mm. And the, and I felt so awkward in hindsight when I saw that at home. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I talked to this guy and was like, yeah, man, your game looks amazing. It's so great. And then I realized, oh man, I was <laughs> thinking of a totally different game. Oh that no. had somewhat similar the entire time. But I mean, his game also looks great. So it's yeah, not like I was I was lying. <laughs> It's, it was just I was so confused when when I realized that. Uh, maybe if I scroll <laughs> through uh, our game stream drawings quickly, maybe I find it. Let me see. Don't dock the messages, Felix. No, it's all of the screen, so that's fine. Do you do I mean, TweetDeck. We can see TweetDeck, why not? Oh, is TweetDeck a secret? I don't know, not a big secret. Okay. Uh, here we go. You can only see code. Oh yeah, Kamiko, that was the game. Kamiko, no, no, yes. no, no, no. I mean, okay. yes, Kamiko is yet another game with a blue-haired, long-haired protagonist. But I wasn't. I thought of another one actually. But yeah, Kamiko is not crosscode. It's not that one, right? That, uh, that was or the, the one other crosscode out oh, like, before crosscode. Yeah, the crosscode for Switch. That's a yes. Game. That's <laughs> another one though. There's too many blue-haired protagonists. Um, Which is why we changed. <laughs> the hair color of that character. Yeah, yeah. That's actually not true. We actually had multiple tests for hair color. I think the one who came up with Juno's hair colors was uh, Fabrice, pretty sure. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. He made the tests and then he just randomly had that gray yeah. with, the, with the pink shade. Yes, he, he threw the shade. He threw the shade. Let me see if I can't find anything. I, I'll tell you, Shad, he threw some mighty, mighty ass shade. Uh, okay, I think. Let me just think about the, the different uh, about different Gamescom things that we also did. Um, we had like this great, great. Um... The game is Nukra. I found it. Nikra! Right! Nikra! Never heard of that. That's... It has been... No, no. I'm, I think... Is it actually out? Actually, it I is think out. That is, I, I think that is still in development, actually. We, no, it's this, out. That, it's out? Really? When, when did, it get, did it come out? Yesterday. Last year, September. About a year ago. You can't even imagine how fucking... How fucking confusing this all was for me. You, you know, I was talking to... Um, the developer of uh, of Revita, and then I was like, "Hey, I didn't know your game was out." And he was like, "Yeah, it was came out in the, in April." I was like, "Oh man, maybe I saw, I heard about that." And I was, "We're busy developing." It's on the yeah, screen. yeah, but still. Yeah. And then I was thinking of this game the entire time, and, the, and 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 then I just thought, "Well, this game isn't out yet, right?" And now it you said, "Tell me, oh yeah, this is also out." Great. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's kind of like a shock because, first of all, I'm not sure I noticed when it came out. And, uh, well, it also wasn't played that much as it looked like, which is, you also know. Also, had mixed reviews. What what do people say there? Like, what was the problem? I mean, it looks this is just. Good. It looks good, sure, but the game is beautiful and has amazing visuals, yeah. 
Ah, it's but one unfortunately, can't yeah. recommend it. The mission was intriguing, but the pacing fees rushed, and the story never really occurred. Blah blah. That's unfortunate. This kind of. But yeah, but this is actually this is how you break the the positive bias that you get when you look at games and just follow a game before it was released, and then keep following it and see what happens when it's released. Because then you often notice that a lot of games that really look promising before don't always end up being successful, unfortunately. That's just how it is. It's sad. But from sometimes what I heard, it's also marketing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, sometimes. well, marketing yeah. doesn't give you a bad Steam score, though. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's... Mix um, is not that great. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I heard that uh, Revita had some really... Really good reviews, uh, reviews though, which is nice. It does, yeah. It seems very, it seems pretty successful. Definitely. Yep. Um, and on game at Gamescom, we also were at like um, some meetup mm. with uh, the game sponsorship. <laughs> we had a meetup with mm. bureaucrats and also fellow developers. Yay! Isn't that exciting? The latter part. <laughs> that that we... sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> you mean bureaucrats or the other developers? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, and we did some networking there. We talked with other people. I think ah, Felix... ah, you used the word. He used the word, chat. Networking. I was he at said Gamescom. It. I was at Gamescom. We were creating ah, lots of nets. Of nets. We did so yes, many we nets. We could go fishing the next day. Uh, and um, well, profit um, margins and... Yeah. I'm not a big this fan, is... but I you know it's uh, like it was, it was interesting, like talking to fellow, talking to our fellow man, and yeah, wo and woman. Decknet says bad marketing will give you bad scores if you market stuff and don't deliver. I don't think so. Like, I mean. Yeah, if you overhype, this with, is if only you, like, true when the... if you overhype the game so much, yes. uh, then yeah, it could happen. But it's more likely that um, because to actually overhype a game to that extent, you need like a, a very impressive marketing budget. What usually happens is that uh, marketing marketing will just give you attention, and uh, yeah, if that. If the like the expectations are not fulfilled, then yes, you get negative scores. And I think this sure. is for the most part happens. Honestly, I think you build expectations not only by marketing but also about how the game looks like, right? There's a. Uh, I always I mean, say what like, you show, you mean, Felix. Right. I mean, what it looks like from what you, uh, yeah, obviously from what you show. But I mean, the and looks. And that that example what that uh, Dagnet. De gave is pretty true like what we knew from no man's sky what we saw mm. looked amazing and then they released it and what we actually got was Not... garbo you know yeah. yeah but i wonder if you would have like uh do right marketing would it then have a good score like if you would give people exactly what it was and release it you think it would have gotten gotten a better score Maybe, yes, it would have gotten a better score if they really said, like, this is what we got, right? But yeah. the marketing for this game was just bad because what we got was an early access title, right? They're still yeah, updating yeah. that game to this day. <laughs> yeah. But still, I think if, if, a, if a game has a low, a low amount of reviews and still... Uh, uh, not a great score. I don't think it's like the fault of the marketing personally. I would say yeah. that that's right. more yeah. like uh, a, okay. a quality issue of the game. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... yeah. I mean, that I, I usually like for some games where I <laughs> like when they are announced, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this because I want to see for myself, you know, because I I like the studios games, right? For mm. for instance, Xenoblade. Chronicles, the first trailer they showed, I thought like, oh, this, this looks interesting, right? I was like, um, like all my concerns more or less got like mm. confirmed. What I hate about the game, I ended up hating, <laughs> except for for Uni. Uni is just amazing as a character. Mm. Um, but often I will just 
wait a few days and see what people say on the game. Mm. If I think like this, this game looks a little bit too good. Like this, uh, there's this Wukong Black Myth game where they showed like trailers and stuff, and it looks looks really cool. Looks everything looks really cool, and I'm not just it's sus, you know. It's literally mm. sus. It's like. <laughs> I don't know if this game will be good in the end. Better wait um, for people who mm. have I infinite cash. And good opinions. And sometimes also it's... Um, like I, I think it's actually good to read negative reviews just to see like what people are annoyed with because sometimes they're annoyed with things that you mm. would probably think like, oh, this is not a problem for me. They, um, the game I'm currently playing, everyone in the reviews is saying the game is short and then they say like it's 10 hours and I'm like, that's not short, that's actually... That's pretty it's, normal actually. It, it it's sounds just, good yeah. for 20 bucks, I'm in. Like, it's not like, it's not like Last of Us, which says, yeah, we are 12 hours, please give us 80 bucks, you know? But when a game, an indie game comes along and says, yeah, we are 10 hours with SideQuest 20s, give us 20 bucks, and I'm like, this, this is a fair price. There you go. Mm. You know? <laughs> I was more concerned with, the, the like, what they showed. Um, the game is called Tamisia, by the way. It's like a Tamisia. mixture between Sekiro and uh, Bloodborne. And um, I was more concerned with the combat in the trailers looked so good. And I was like, no, nah, is this really like, this is an indie game developer? You know, and I got burned before by quote unquote Souls-like games. Um, but now nah, everyone in the comments was like, the gameplay is good. And I was like, all right, I'm in. All right. Thanks, thanks Steam reviews. Because otherwise, you know, you, you spend like 20 bucks and you don't like the game and you maybe play it for 2 hours and 30 minutes and you can't even refund it. I, I'm a, I'm a Xenoblade fan. I, I, like... When the first game came out, damn. That, that thing ran on a V. True. It, it was it a sure revelation. Did. Um, mm, yeah, actually, the, the funny Xenoblade thing is... Xenoblade was, was amazing. Sure. And, and the new one is, uh, I, I can already say this is a big inspiration coming into our project because there are some shared themes, I would say, and the game kind of sh showcases what works and what also doesn't work. Um, and yeah, if you, if you like, okay with, like, always, always remember that when you play a Japanese RPG, you're gonna have Japanese themes in it, and you have to be okay with them. Right? So some, yeah, well... Especially with some translations. Some Sometimes you just know when you watch a cutscene and it feels a little bit weird, a little bit uncanny. That's the moment when you have to realize that is something that probably works in Japanese much better. I'm not even 100% sure. Like, I get... Sometimes I get the feeling uh, that you have different quality in Japanese writing as well. I mean, there's like certain anime which I think are writing wise so much more better, so much more interesting compared to other shows. But I mean, to some extent, yeah, there's always a culture difference. So they've always focused on certain topics, which might be weird if you don't come from that culture. Like, I don't know. I mean, also, this is in, within the same game, right? You have like one mm. cutscene that's like, um, uh, still relatively normal, and then another cutscene speaks about a different topic. And in like we in the West talk about these topics differently than mm. Japanese people would love. For instance, like love and stuff, right? I mean, that's true, especially when it comes to philosophy. It's always a bit hard for me to kind of like enjoy philosophical discussions in anime and also in Japanese video games. I'm probably in the nose what I mean. <laughs> like, I yeah. don't know. For some reason, whenever it comes to like really trying to have rational thought, I really prefer Western media, I think, in general. 
for because I know maybe that's really just like a language or cultural thing. Uh, okay, I guess I, I, made, I made it work. It looks Are you saying they have too much emotions? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. In, well, in, I mean, in, in, just in a... yeah. In a way, I guess the way they kind of like uh, talk about human behavior. I mean, like the Western thinking is just a bit differently, right? Uh, and so it might just be odd uh, trying to follow this argumentations they have sometimes. Like, and I, I feel like there is sometimes like, you know, cultural differences and then yeah. For instance, in that moment I'm always thing, like... Like uh, one of my most hated tropes is like, you fail to protect her, that means you killed her. You know, you have this so much in <laughs> Japanese video games and anime and I ugh. I don't know, maybe it's kind of like related to our culture, I don't know. But then again, I think sometimes Western media does this too, I'm not sure. I think at some point it's I noticed it's, 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 it's more it's about the person yeah, feels the like guilty. Yeah. Who, what? What had it? The Expanse. Bobby had this this. too. Yeah. Oh yeah, what? the Expanse had this. Not Bobby, yeah. not Bobby. I meant um, the yeah. bodyguard of uh, Avasarala. Uh, I mean, yeah. but but yeah, it yeah, happened yeah. there, but they got over it. You know? Yeah, yes, they yes, got yes, eventually yes. over it. That I mean, that I can see that people think that way and get over it. That's okay. But I'm like, oh gosh, don't get me started on hope and Final Fantasy Thirteen. You know how much I hated this character. Oh my God, hope! Fucking ah. hope. I lose all hope in in Final like, Fantasy writing. Like if it's an episode, right? <laughs> that 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 is about that theme, right? Yeah. Of um, feeling responsible for yeah. the death of another. Then I feel like that's okay. That's like one episode and then you have your arc and at the end the, the person realizes that the bodyguard's job is to protect you yeah he died in the service so we have to move on for that person all right i get it and then it's over yeah. but hope hope yeah, I just mean, i think it's I th uh, actually i think this specific situation is actually really interesting in a way like because it's it, it's like a bit of a uh, a spin on like a on, on like an an ad, adept basically adept adept <laughs> like an honor adept or something. It's just as you basically already said, um, <laughs> how far you take it and how you you execute it. Like in yeah. the expanse, it was actually rather nice because it 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 had like this very very nice dynamic between the bodyguard of Avasarala and her. In that they. The, um, he followed her because he had like this debt to her and he, she she sometimes tried to abuse this in a uh, like verbally but he he didn't really take that kind of shit from her he just said yeah i have the debt to you but that doesn't mean that i like you and mm. shut up like <laughs> i will protect you but shut up i'm, I'm not I'm, just, I'm still not nice to you or something mm. so this was it's always which if you know the woman is an yeah okay actually thing to what say you to describe her. is something I didn't have any issue with whatsoever I think it's more like this kind of like a blaming mentality that people tend to blame somebody for something that's ultimately just unfair I think yeah, like yeah. the expectation mm. that somebody protects someone he has to 100% be able to do it like even if they really tried and they failed not giving it cutting them some slack i just think it's such a such a such a mindset that lacks any kind of reflection and like any kind of perspective change and i hate this because this is like those are just i mean i'm not saying this is unrealistic because people are like this but i guess i'm just i just hate stupid people that can't reflect so <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate the strobe so much. I mean, it's, it, it's really annoying. It's really annoying because yeah, because that means they are very vulnerable, vulnerable to magic attacks. Yeah, yeah. Get it? Because That's, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. And, and also, I I'm gonna on the topic of oh, <laughs> realistic, but still annoying. I'm, I I want to say again that that the grandmother of Sopranos is very realistic, Felix. <laughs> Or the mother, rather. Wait, did I get? Okay. I and mean, you can make this this good, right? Like, um, for all of the who of you who have not yet played God of War, you might want to mute the stream okay. for ten minutes. In five, Spoiler. four, what three, two, one. God of War, you have played through it, right, Felix? 
here. And there at the end, we also have exactly that moment where someone... Um, oh yeah. Where it's, where it's realistic because it's a mother-son situation where the mother clearly states, oh. I will do anything for you. And then you, she actually sees Kratos kill her own boy, right? Yeah. Because he has to. He he thinks like, otherwise he will kill his mother and he will kill us. So right, the lesser evil. Um, yeah. And she definitely is like, I blame you for everything, Kratos, because she's grieving. Yeah. And I and yeah. I think that's okay. There's a. A it strong, was like it was more understandable. I mean, obviously, the the best way to explain this kind of situation is, of course, emotions, right? The lack mm. of rational thought. You just you just have the pain. You want to find somebody to blame. So that's why I always understand this for some time. But the longer it goes on, the more I th I find it uh, like annoying. Mm -hmm. um, for a mother, I can see that how this might go on for a longer time. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, and going into the second game, I this will be probably a, be a motive, right? Yeah. Where, where this I comes up, that. I also expect that in the end, mm. um, Freya will kind of understand. You know, mm. I mean, Kratos obviously has gone through some shit. You know, he has seen these very things play out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we, um, you, you also had that trope in A Song of Ice and Fire, by the way, thinking about it. Uh, okay. With uh, yeah, Laura's exactly. Tyrell and Laura's Tyrell and Brienne. Laura's Tyrell and Brienne. Uh, you know, the, the gay boyfriend knight of the, of the, of the king, yeah. uh, of the aspiring king Renly, and the, and the female knight who failed to protect him in his eyes. Oh. Yeah, then again, he also thought that he that, that, that she killed him for some time, but he he admitted that it would have made no sense, but he still kind of hated her for some time because either way he died while she was attending and so she she failed, which would have been just as bad and blah, blah, blah. something. Yeah, something. yeah so that's, that, again, that's out of grief then. Mm -hmm. I yeah, know, yeah like, because he was his lover, basically. I mean, as with a lot of things, it's, uh, oh. it's so much about how it's presented and how people exactly interact i think just the way like uh, i don't know if i would write a character like this i would present it in a way that you show that they have a very strong dislike to this character even though they are kind of like somewhat aware of themselves it doesn't make sense like they wouldn't just keep saying you killed her because like that would exactly be lying to themselves because it would be no like that's not exactly what happened unless obviously there's some i don't know something they didn't see something they don't know but this is like again like writing based on misunderstanding which is <laughs> yeah like another topic um but yeah like it's like you can make this work in a way that i don't find annoying i think but uh a lot of games don't do this that well um, especially in Japan, like I had it, like another example actually is, uh, spoilers, if you didn't finish like the, uh, the third Ace Attorney game, I mean, Godot is a great character, right? But ultimately the end, he has the same motivation again, like he was like really angry at Phoenix because, you know, he didn't protect his mentor, so, and come on. I mean, he wasn't even around, like... He yeah, was, yeah. He wasn't even a bodyguard, he was just this pupil, and like... He, he was, was like, a pupil. man has to protect, like, those close to him, and I... Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was a cool character until this reveal. Yeah, pretty much. Motivation. I really liked his character, he was amazing, but this was kind of like... Oh gosh, it's sad again. This is his motivation, his entire motivation. That's really oh, but so a, a, a person that is call, calls himself a lawyer yeah. um, keeps this kind of hate for years um, mm. and cannot rationalize that. I always thought like, oh, it's probably something really cool and like yeah. uh, something that we, we never expect and it's like something so lame. <laughs> that was really it was like a bit a of a letdown. Yeah, 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 it was. 
Funny thing though is I didn't really remember this the first time I played it, but the second time I played the game I noticed not that. Oh no. It's that trope again. Jeez. <laughs> like I, I back when I played it, I was just like Wait what? <laughs> That's your reason? Mm. That's why you're being an asset mm. to me? That seems unreasonable. And maybe you, uh, you know, this is this is stuff you usually want to talk with people. By the way, I, I, ju I just want to clarify, I don't hate stupid people. I'm sorry for saying that. <laughs> That's um, mean to what stupid people. If yeah, you mean you mean just people who don't reflect? Yeah, I mean people don't reflect. Who don't yeah, that's mostly uh, well, come on. like let's be honest. I just don't, I don't like people who are too emotional and uh, hard-headed in media, right? Probably also in general, but you know, <laughs> should kind of like clarify. This is about talking about characters and stories and all that. Yes. 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 Um, and I also Most want to say, uh, Gamescom was nice. Games from was Felix. Great. Yeah. Felix, was there something else that you really liked at Gamescom? What you really? Oh no! <laughs> people be <liked>? personally attacked. <laughs> no. Felix, you, yes? you actually you actually played this streamer streamer girl game. Oh yeah. League, yeah. Which oh. is totally the kind of game that is, that you would play in, in um, by yourself. Well, then again, I mean, you you actually, kind of actually I kind of would. It was interesting. It was yeah, yeah. Right. Right. What um, make me curious also, on how this evolved, especially if they say it kind of gets like this horror edge to it or something. So that made me kind of curious. At least you said something. It like kind that. of has. It kind of has like a, bi a bizarre uh, mystery and kind of ho horror edge. Yeah, yeah, with the oh, different wow. endings and stuff like that. But it is, it is. Um, I wouldn't say super horror like. It's more like mm. um, because the entire Doki game Doki is a bit Literal of. Club? Hmm? Is it more like Doki Doki Literal Club? Kind of, yeah, yeah, but the scenario is is obviously very different because you only have basically just one character. Because you, um, the the premise is that you play as um, as the boyfriend slash ma uh, manager of like a, a YouTube streamer girl, basically. And you basically manage her. You both manage her streamer career <laughs> and also her. Um, uh, her her private life in a way because you're her boyfriend and you kind of need to um, keep care of her mental health in a way and that she doesn't make the worst decisions uh, and you also moderate her chat like mm -hmm. click delete on like uh, spam messages and stuff like that and um, yeah it is, as such it is very focused on her and you also mm -hmm. never leave um you basically never leave that one um, place you're in, basically, which is like the uh, Windows uh, UI. Yeah, it's like, oh, you like doing stuff on a very classic operating system. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, like the way it's structured and framing, it's interesting. I, mm -hmm. I kind of like get the impression the game was kind of tongue in cheek from the writing. Definitely, yeah. And that I kind of like that. Kind of like uh, it was. It's very. Didn't take um, it's very serious, from what I. It's very say. over the top. I mean, it yeah. it does uh, parody, like real problems of mm -hmm. like, um, virtual streamers, especially f and not virtual streamers, just streamers, uh, in general, mm. and uh, especially female ones. But it's obviously somewhat, very over the top and somewhat mm. uh, humorous in many ways in the stuff that happens, but. <laughs> Some stuff that happened, I'm sure, also happened in in real life a lot, uh, and caused problems. Like, for example, uh, she uh, has like her two Twitter accounts where she posts <laughs> stuff, like her private one and her um, uh, like public one, where she posts as her streamer persona. And sometimes she posts like um, <laughs> stuff on her streamer persona Twitter that are uh, meant for private, like her mm. talking about how great sex with her boyfriend was, or um, <laughs> uh, how how annoying her sim fans are, and then you have to basically do damage control somehow, or uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know what happens there, I just know that it's a part of the game. 
And it's like that kind of aspects or um, like her doing like more risque streams and then potentially fans reacting in weird ways to that and stuff like that. It's a very popular game already. It's been out since January or February, I think. And it already sold like 550,000 times from what I read. Oh, yeah. So it's very, very big. Mm -hmm. And a lot of streamers also played it, uh, both ironically and um, <laughs> kind of fittingly. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, so, yeah. I wanted to say they, they played it professionally, you know. Professionally, yeah. No, but I meant it's it's both and ironic that they played it. The gamer chess, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it's very fitting that if you're a gaming YouTuber, especially a female gaming uh, YouTuber. And, and you play that game and you're like, oh yeah, haha, -ha. wouldn't that be weird, haha, -ha, if that happened, haha. -ha. Uh, uh, Kyrie5431 like mm -hmm. asks, hello, I was wondering if you guys are okay with content creators using the crosscode OS for background audio and video streams, or if you would prefer they didn't. And it's a bit difficult for us to answer that because we don't really have the rights to the music that actually is uh, with Dennis, or in particular, I think Materia, collective actually has the rights to the music um so to you be sure, might be able to uh, i know I, I think they are with dennis but yeah but i i think dennis uh, answered that question before yeah. if it's uh, for private stuff it's always i mean if it's not something you commercially use using the music is absolutely fine yeah i think uh, screens should what... be fine honestly i don't th yeah. really think okay streams will be put down because of that that's what i would expect um did you know that there's a, a an actress called dennis akbulut who was like very famous in the mm. 80s <laughs> i just wanted to i actually just wanted to to search if there was uh if if mm. dennis has like a, a web presence where he actually mm. answers that but <laughs> maybe just check maybe he answers that somewhere officially so we don't uh, need to answer for him um I wanted to say that, uh, Felix, uh, mm. and, and the game that you played, I actually think that, that sounds kind of sweet. If the uh, boyfriend's manages in the background, you know. Well, it's it's kind of sweet, but it, it also uh, becomes somewhat... Um, oh, yeah. Is he a creep? No. No, it's, it's not that he is a creep, but rather that his... Um, the main character, streamer girl, is somewhat un unstable um, in many ways. There are also some some things that happen that might be not uh, as wholesome as you would think. <laughs> because as Felix said, it, it, it does have kind of a horror angle in some mm. some aspects. I mean, you heard, you told me that, so yeah. <laughs> yes. Did uh, you say that? I mean, I the think you told me that it has some horror angle to it. Okay, maybe, maybe you I can say, yeah. Sure. I, I, I actually thought that that, that um, the person managing the booth told you that. Because oh, you... Maybe an apple. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like... but I mean, it's true. I think it does have a bit of a horror angle. <laughs> anyway, it's an interesting game, and I'm sure many have heard about it already. And if not, check it out. I, I have to say, I have never heard of it. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, then I again, what's the name again? Um, it's I, I think it's called Needy, Needy Streamer Girl Overload. Yes, needy, needy streamer girl overload. It'll be the first time I hear that, man. <laughs> it's, God it's damn on, it. It's on, stream, it, uh, it's on Steam for 30, 30 euro. Wow. I don't have any and money. It has, and it has uh, an overwhelmingly positive reviews with with 30, 30k, not 30, 13k reviews. And it also has like this very, <laughs> very iconic uh, by now uh, theme song that is on the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I would play, but it's very obnoxious <laughs> by design. <laughs> Did you listen to it, Felix, when I sent it to you? I'm sorry, I'm Felix? currently trying to okay. figure things okay. out. Felix? Yes? Felix, Felix? Felix? Can you hear Felix? me? Felix? Yes, yes. Uh, did you listen to the song that I sent you? The <laughs> Not much, the... no, I didn't. Okay, okay. But it's very... I'm just, I'm, I was just memeing. Everyone okay. is annoying Felix. Felix? Needy Felix? streamer yeah. girl. Can yeah. you hear me, Felix? I just wanna... I just wanna see the... If I can find the, the funny dance. 
Yes. There is a fun. You know what? I'm just gonna search in Discord because I'm sure it, it has the dance. Needy streamer. Yes, it has the. <laughs> Yay! It has the dance. The dance from the music video. <laughs> kind of like overdose more than overload. Hmm? Needy streamer uh, overload. It was supposed to be overdose, but. It yeah, right, right, right. Ah. It, it, it has it has different titles. It was originally or in the, in Japan called uh, Needy Streamer Girl Overdose because it also has some drug related themes. Mm. Mm. Uh, but they um, changed the title. I'm not sure if it's in the West or if they did just did it later to Overload because it's the most it's a safer title, obviously. Needy Streamer Girl. Does it have a Wikipedia entry? Yes. It also doesn't have girl in the title, sorry. Um, the game was initially titled Needed Streamer Girl mm. Overdose, mm. but in s it was changed in November 21 in preparation for the Western release. Okay. Mm. Okay, it makes sense. Uh... Those goddamn Westerners. Westerners, they, 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 um, they make things political because J Japan doesn't have politics, and if there wasn't the Western people, there wouldn't be politics in Japanese things. <laughs> Didn't you know? That's how it is, uh, according yeah. to the internet people. That's why you have people like uh, Hideo Kojima, who never would do anything political. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. I kind of like Overlord more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's not related to that. Damn, mm -hmm. I like, I also like completely, I completely missed, missed me. But if we're honest, that, that's a good thing, I feel like. It's a good, <laughs> then I can like just jump into it, you know. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to play it, I could just say, all right, sounds good, I'm going it's to play also it. Not a, it's also not a long game, I think. I think you, I mean, it has, t it has several different endings, uh, depending on how, on how you manage her, um, how her values are and stuff. But um, I think the, um, you can reach each ending in a few hours, maybe? It's not that long. Was it I mean, 30 a game... or 13 euro? Hmm? 30 or the 13 euro? Uh, 13. 13. Oh, okay, I thought 30. 30 would be a bit uh, much ooh. for that kind of game, I, I thought think. that's that's spicy. And then, okay, 30 makes sense, yeah. Spicy and spicy. By the way... I uh, mean, was... if the game is longer, then it's also great. It's also, al al always about, like... Can you keep keep it interesting enough? For yeah, but, uh, but I think that kind of game, it, it, if it was too long, the gag might be wearing thin and the kind of gameplay it does. Because yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, there, there needs to be something that like keeps you interested. And especially since you have like, yeah, uh, right. And especially since you have like several endings to, to get to, you wouldn't want it to be too long because it would be kind of a pain in the ass to replay like parts all the time and things like that. It's I more see. like 999. 999, okay. 999. I mean, the game is also pretty short, right? And then you have like mm. multiple endings and stuff. Uh, yep, right, right, right. I'm just thinking about what, are, what other things we saw at Gamescom. Felix, did, did we see other things at Gamescom? Right. I have to say, I didn't play as much as I probably should have. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, me, me, I realized me too, actually. Me too, actually. Man, I, I, sitting too yes. much around at the business area. Not enough yeah, yeah, the because, area, to admit. because <laughs> free drinks and free food. That's like, that's the stuff. Yay. Uh, <laughs> dream just also sitting around. Also kind of like I'm feeling not getting younger, like being in the, in the arena among yeah. all these people standing all the time. Man, yeah, I get see, so quickly. See? Holy shit. Felix. Yeah, right. That's yeah. also, I mean, this could also be, Felix, be careful about this, right? This could also be a long term effect of COVID. Mm, true. Yeah, I keep okay. in mind. Yeah, I mean, I still can do my runs and I didn't oh, okay. notice then, then that it gets can... much worse. But yeah, uh, but yeah, this, this, this is exactly the, the thing that I guess I arrived there earlier than you. You still had a few more times, like, this standing mm. around all day and then yeah it is getting exhausting i think it's, so it's, it's like it's much much worth if you actually have a booth at gamescom if you're a visitor yeah. you always can take breaks whenever right so that helps a lot depends felix depends yeah. if, you, if you have a booth with chairs <laughs> if you have booths with chairs that 
and you can use yeah, those we didn't have yourself. any chairs yeah uh, yeah in, for cross code i mean cross code the first time we were there it was also our fault mm. for basically having all of our people always be there mm. uh, it was it not be... even necessary yeah were like six people or, or i mean five? Yeah, we no, had two we, booths we, right we had like the business booth and the indie booth <laughs> but yeah but the like... business booth was managed by deck 30. Yeah, we have been there too, actually. Um, I think we, we didn't actually have all the people there all the time. We split it up like... Um, right, I was and I, rem there I just the remember time. being at the indie booth most of the time. It just yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you also were there yeah, like the entire time. time, the entire Gamescom, from what I remember. You were yeah, we were all... I mean, I, I left a, a few times to like... I think I left once to get the autograph again with Yoko Shimura. You know. it's right. Yeah, that was right at the By the beginning. way, Chad, have I ever told you the amazing story of Felix and myself meeting Yoko Shimomura before the event? Before yeah. the sex? It was amazing. <laughs> okay. She is so short. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can imagine. And, and you hear this from Sheffer, that beats something. You hear from yeah, Sheffer. it comes from me like she's smaller than me and I'm a small person. But yeah, she, she uh, the funny thing is we were like, yeah, can we get a photograph? And they had this like this big marketing thing for Final Fantasy XV, and the, mm. the translator was like, "No, no, we can't do it." But she was like, "No, no, let, let's do it. We can go over here." And I, I, you know, Felix just told me on the train ride, like, "Yeah, Yoko Shimomura is there," and I was like, "What? What?" And the funny <laughs> thing is, accidentally on the day, I was wearing a Kingdom Hearts shirt too. Perfect timing. It was Perfect. destiny. It was destiny. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> that was amazing. And what are you playing there again? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, I gotta skip soon. Out of curiosity, hmm? Henning, are you listening to this music like in your free time? What music? The one that will play when I play skip. It's a music, so that's that's. The <laughs> oh shit! Okay, then listen. Do you listen to this stuff in your free time? Uh, I mean, it's clips, so I I I watch them once, and then. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, are you, like, casually <laughs> just having this in your playlist? <laughs> That, not that. I'm, um, I'm. I see that in the recommendations usually. Oh yeah, recommendations. Oh, I constantly forget those exist. Problem with YouTube. Right. Um. Recommendations is they just they just out there spoiling you. By the way, I've got to go real quick. Bye. Yeah, sure. Um, what the heck is this? Shulke! Shulke! I didn't know that one. Shulke! Shulke! Shulke is a really funny name. Shulke! Shulke! Baku Slashu! Baku Slashu! Baku Slashu! Shulke! Air slash you. Video is called this. Oh, that's like a internet overdose thing, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's Eurobeat. Not my music. <laughs> it's the nicest thing I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, let's see if I can fix the controller. Oh yeah, Xenoblade 3 has a really great soundtrack, I can say that. It's also... Uh, sadly for me, it hurts listening to it because of hmm. the excessive use of flutes. Mm. But I still think it's a great soundtrack. It just keeps interrupting itself, you know? Like, the game, like, I already, like, you know, I hate it when they do this. Uh, but w whenever you open the menu in this game, mm. it plays a unique menu track. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, who in the... Like, no. And if if you do it, at least let me disable it. I actually want to listen to your um, area background theme. I like it. And this happens when you enter the map menu, Felix. You the know, map? that menu oh that you open every five seconds in the Xenoblade game. Mm. And then there's oh two map menus. That you can't even go into the map menu and then go to an overview. No, there's a separate menu for that. Where you first select the area and then the uh, you get the map. The map menu is just like the entire menuing experiences. I'm not a fan. <laughs> mm. Just hire these people that did the definite, definitive edition for Xenoblade. That was nice. <laughs> but yeah, I just like. Um, it was also another theme that keep <laughs> that kept getting interrupted. What was it? I mean, in a way, Captain there's like the, ch the chain attack has its own theme. Captain Fehlentscheidung is a very good name. Huh? <laughs> Captain Fehlentscheidung. That's a good Cap name. Mm -mm. Don't let the soundboard collect dust, that's right. Let's play a classic. <laughs> Ah. No. No. Oh man. <laughs> ah, my ears. Okay. Then this classic. Felix, you must die here and now. Not really a classic. <laughs> kind of new, actually. There's actually too many Felix songs. Goodbye, have... Felix. No, I'm still here. <laughs> I made that short with the animal noises. Hey, Boylan, did you make this before the cow? <laughs> the cow craze? Yes. Now it's cow. just. Oh, well, it's just some VTubers, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Cow sounds like. Cow sounds like. I don't want to do it because it's not going to sound cute. It's going to sound like. <laughs> it's not like that either. How do I skip? Cow? And it's minus like... minus? Ooh. No, that sounds like the fat Pikachu. You know? And he goes P. Moo. That just sounds like Clover, actually. Clover goes moo, moo. Close my nose. Good idea. <laughs> Is it working? Do I sound like a cow yet? I don't know. I feel like we should stick to the the classics of um. Gotta put some spirit in. Moo. <laughs> I don't understand okay. anything. Else. Yeah, me neither. Uh, let's just skip. <laughs> it's just random words. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too normal for this kind of stuff. On to my favorite, one of my favorite quotes from Archer. Are you all just saying random words? <laughs> so... Yo, I actually, I actually have a really, really funny clip. Felix, you have to watch it. I'm the first time I I do this to you. Okay. Emmy, are you still here? Do you remember <laughs> the mm. game commentator thing? If you can find it.
Uh, sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Okay. You I'm it. trying to fix a bug here. And it's actually tricky, because what I did is actually correct. It's just because of rounding issues that I think I have this issue here. And uh, how do I fix this? Oh boy. It has to be this way. Honestly though, I think it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close as it gets and it works. The most important thing is now I can finally see how those feet look from all the angles in the graphics editor. So now I can try to fix this. Let's see. Um, let's make the feet longer. Because, I mean, that's one of the big uh, things I noticed recently, why some parts don't rotate quite as nicely. Um, especially the feet and the hands, because the bones are very short. And I always calculate the rotation based on the node position compared to the parent position. But both of these positions are always rounded. So to make sure that, like, the position isn't arbitrary detail, but kind of, like, matches the grid a little bit. Um, because of that, the rotation for short bones is just very imprecise. If the bone is only two pixels long, and uh, then you take rounded positions for the start and the end of that bone, and then you calculate the rotation of that, it's not very accurate. And that's why it doesn't look so great. Um, so making those bones longer should help. Like, I'm making them twice as long now. And I need to just adapt the graphics to be at the same position as before. And this should already help with uh, the rotation. And now I just need to adapt the graphics. That's that's exactly why I did this. Now here I can rotate the graphics and I can actually see how it looks like. In theory, I have to rotate this one up here. Look, this is why I'm doing this. If someone can find me the video of a dude explaining a game with game terminology without you knowing what's going on in it, that would be swell. It was one of the funniest shit I've seen in a while. Why didn't I favorite and forgot? No. Look how... <sighs> the feet rotations were so off. I mean, that's honestly why us, the feet look so weird so often. Look at this. It's all off. Felix, do you have a thing for me? No, no. Uh, you, 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 <laughs> you misunderstand. He's not Hideo Kojima. <laughs> Wait, Kojima too? <laughs> By the way, did you skip all of it? <laughs> Obviously. Even the internet girl thingy. But it was such a such a very calming song. It's not super obnoxious in the background when you're talking to someone. <laughs> and you even skipped cow fauna. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was just random words. Oh, I found it. I found it. All right. I retweeted. I'm, I'm smart. It's, and why are you talking about feet? What is the... I'm talking about feet Felix. because I'm currently fixing Yuno's feet. 
Ah, okay. Because look, I Auto finally implemented the rotation. Ah, look, no, they matched the grid, I think. Wait, did I copy the wrong one? I copied the wrong one, didn't I? Jesus, I'm so stupid. Okay. This is the right one. Now select the other feet. Paste. Paste. Now we got it. The so perfect right feet. Now. Or at least the good feet. They're better. <laughs> nice. I again I don't have a fetish. It's just feet are important sometimes. Okay. Well, if you say so. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm sitting right now, so I can't really say. Hey Felix, I posted in the channel. In general. Hmm? Check the video. Mm. Ah, you put in Zeno, mm. this, this one Zeno Oh Blade man, <laughs> this is this video about the toys, yeah. I know that one. Oh no. That one was a mess. Gnarly 3v3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. That was a, uh, this is a very good Buckle choice. In, boys. In we got a gnarly 3v3 here. Right Starts out with like the Minnie Mouse, see. calling it, hangs okay. up immediately as you do with that opening. Oh, he chokes her out. Oh, round over, okay. That was an impressive first round. That was pretty easy. What we got now? Oh, fire truck. He's wearing the hat too, so he can do the double spin. Sets it up by knocking him over. Yep. I would tower here. Two blocks, nice. All right, it's time to double spin. There's the hat. Oh, he went too far. Oh, is this guy a rookie? That's tough. We got boxing gloving, just knock everything down. Hmm. Why do you leave the tower? Is he setting up for something? Oh, he's got the light. He can spin it. He can spin it. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, this guy's pretty good. Mm. We got the doctor. He's gonna use a stethoscope. I'm just gonna the scope doctor, around. Man. Four and one on top. Pretty good move. Good scouting. What we got? Dinosaur. This is, oh, hey, the... this is when you don't understand the game. You know. Mm. Oh, but he's got Someone lunchbox. Like oh, lunchbox completely counters this. You can just put everything in there. Yeah. What's happening? Wow. To you. you like I haven't seen the dinosaur counted yeah. that casually in a while. True. Yes, perfect. He played that perfectly. Oh, does he know the counter melody? Dun, 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 oh, you got dun. a lunchbox. He yeah. knows the counter melody. Wow, that was crazy. What we got now? Oh, that's unblockable unless you're ready for it. Oh, good play. Pool noodles honestly slept on. I used to play it a lot. Yeah, it's a TikTok video. Here we right? got Luigi now. Mm. He's got so something so in his hand. Always oh, running. Negates the xylophone. Like often you really can just toss that away at this point. Speed. Yeah. Pulls out a CD. Oh, he has a pen. If he has a pen, he can... <gasps> He was holding the pen the whole time. He can just sign it. This is the autograph Thanks. win. This is a known, this is a known end game. Melody. Wow. Okay, we got Superman and one last standoff, I think. Fake shit. Solid move. Stirs it. Make sure you turn it. Yeah, there we go. Speedrunning commentary. In oh, sure. we got Unicorn Love. <laughs> this is a weird opening. I'm not too familiar with this one. This will be nice for a final I round. I think though. Flora told us about this one, right? Yeah. Batman Duck jumps right in. Wait, he's gonna pour water on it. He's gonna pour water on it. He's gonna pour water on it. He blocked it. Oh! Luigi and company wins. Dude, what a good game. Holy shit. Amazing game. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> I would be like, all right, yeah. As long as you enjoyed yourself. Like what I imagine people feel like when I explain Overwatch to them. Mm. Like when, when there's like professional Overwatch. Or like when somebody... When I would watch uh, League of Legends and like a professional match and the commentators would talk, I would be like, D -d this is what I hear, just random words. Mm. They make no sense to me. <laughs> All right, looks good so far. All right. Uh, even hard to honest when you. Yeah. It, okay. So. The problem with Overwatch certainly is that you have like six against six and everyone is like close to each other and shooting at each other. It's hard to tell, yeah. Uh, 
But let's say like professional Overwatch is more methodically like you can see all right this they have these characters and they do that you know like I feel like there there's more nuance nuance to that. That's also a great theme. I love to play this on guitar. It's so easy to play and so fun. And like they trill. He blocked it. He blocked it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Man. <laughs> what does Juno do in her free time? She'll probably lie somewhere, just chilling, Sleep. or cooking, eating. Yeah. Okay. I think the feed log actually. Yeah. I think this is a lot better. Mm hmm. It's 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 interesting. Uh, I just just. Um reading reviews of the streamer girl game mm. it says here in addition the game the character of ame so the main main girl is criticized as more of a male nerd's delusion of what girls are like rather than how women realistically behave this is interesting because the game was created by uh, women i think or at least written by women at least at least two of the developers were were female um and they were even there at the convention mm. Interesting part. Now I've I I remember the, the, one of the most interesting parts of the convention. The entire uh, Japanese delegation or well, Japanese pavilion <laughs> was really interesting. Yeah, we have been in at the Japanese pavilion, and the funny thing is that we uh, met somebody. We met at Bit Summit again, and that was that was fun. Um, and also, we found uh, I saw another interesting game, which is called Samurai Bringer. That's actually someone we can call talk about. Style is super interesting, and it's only it's only ten euro, by the way. It's really cheap. Yeah, it's it's really cheap. Um, let me just post it here in stream. It looked really interesting, in particular because I think they kind of really nailed the whole let's convert 3D to pixel art style. Uh, like it looks like surprisingly good pixel art for just being 3D models rendered in a certain way. Um, I mean, it, it has this kind of it has this kind of cheapy style, and that helps to make it work. Like they kind of look kind of blocky. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I think at least visually it looked really impressive. I thought. Um, Seems to be kind of like a, a souls like, though some people I, I say. Thought, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's supposedly also. It's kind not of soul, a souls like. Sorry, uh, sorry, not souls like. I'm uh, rogue like. Uh, rogue like. Supposedly, yeah. A rogue light or. I, 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 I just want to say because like I. Yeah, yeah. I think I had it on my like, because I I thought also it looked pretty good and I was waiting on the re reviews. Yeah. Oh my. I've, See, see, this is one of the games I forgot about. I probably was there when it was released, and I was like, oh yeah, just waiting on Steam reviews, and then I forgot about it. God damn it. Wasn't it also the game where you kind of built your combos on yourself? Like, you built them in via the, the stuff you get doing a run, right? Yeah, yeah, I think kind of like this. I didn't really get a full grasp of the gameplay. It had this kind of thing where you can combine abilities in a lot of different ways to ah, yeah, singular yeah, yeah, attacks yeah, yeah. that kind of like merge those abilities. And it had like this really involved character building system, I think. Uh, yeah, I just had a short look at it, but I thought it looked really interesting. Yeah, you I mean, it, this... they're blocky like Minecraft, but they're shaded like more or less clean pixel art. So instantly yeah. had to think about Minecraft because of the f the face. The face is also very very Minecraft Steve, in my opinion, with the yeah. expression that that he has by default at least. Mm. Yeah, it was really nice, and I think um, it, it has a character building, but it, it also mm. has like this kind of Mega Man aspect, and that you defeat enemies, and then you can basically take their fighting style and stuff like that. Mm. Something. Mm. It's really, it's it's really nice. It, well, I liked it. But um, the most interesting thing about the whole ja 
Japan Pavilion, it's a whole Japan indie scene that I learned is that, um, well, Japan now uh, finally takes the indie scene more seriously, apparently, in that um, bigger publishers are starting to actually support indie developers mm. now. And it's it's a re very recent development by, because, uh, first of all, in Japan, they don't have any um, any support from like uh, the government or the or the the nation itself in terms mm. of like um, like I don't know if if, if 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 movies have support or anything, but but video games have zero support in Japan from the government, unlike in 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 Europe or the US. And uh, yeah, and bigger companies also didn't do the whole um, yeah we we support the indie devs in like this more smaller scale development as it is um, more common in the West. It's also a thing that just didn't happen, but it is starting now. Like for example, uh, which um, surprised me the most, um, you do know uh, Shueisha, right, Stefan? Shueisha. Is that... Shueisha mm. is basically a really, really big uh, publisher, mostly for print media. Like um, they are most commonly known in the West as the publisher for uh, the Shonen Jump stuff or Jump in general, like um. Dragon Ball, One Piece. They release all those very famous uh, manga series. And they now also apparently have an indie game division where they um, support like indie games and sponsor them, which is really, really surprised me. It's a pleasant surprise. And they definitely have the money and the influence to be of great help if they are dedicated enough. And also Kodansha, basically their biggest rival, who also do manga, light novels and stuff like that. So they also do like indie game publishing now, which is like really big, I think. And of course you have like uh, companies like Playism and stuff like that who who um, are doing that for a bit longer, and who are somewhat I was just saying, But because like I, I was always thinking like, in, to some extent, wasn't like Square Enix also having this like indie thing where they kind of paid for like for smaller yeah. titles? I, I, I don't know. Like there was maybe, some program. Hmm? Yeah, maybe. But but uh, it could be. You know that you think about. It, know that you say it. But uh, maybe the um, the structure was different. That they. Were more were more hands on in controlling the projects, unlike Maybe. with unlike um, the 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 those projects uh, or programs that that I saw at um, at Gamescom, by Shueisha and the others were more like the stuff that Dex 13 is doing with Spotlight, for example. Mm. They see like uh, games that are already in development, hmm. and then sponsor them without being without taking a lot of control over the game development itself. Mm -hmm. So it's more like marketing help and some sponsorship. And I guess they still get so, uh, take some control maybe, but not a lot. It's, it's still very much indie for game development. I mean, they will probably have a deal to take a cut. You know? yeah. Uh, that's that's that, a question, I mean, if yeah. I can. Uh, also, yeah, yeah. hi, Rirö. Hey, Rirö. Hey, um, Predator766A asked, uh, will you have multiple ID animations or just big stretch and look to the side? Uh, I mean, yes, we can actually more easily add multiple ID animations now with the system. Um, it's definitely feasible. We'll see how far we go, but yeah. I think more than one though is not very industry standard, you know. You know, most characters only have one idol. Yeah, like you know, like to like help them characterize that. But what what we uh, what we want to do definitely is have more NPCs have idols. Mm. Like, I mean, honestly, uh, I, I think I like the idea of giving you know different idols depending on what the situation is. Like in the beginning, she might not stretch around because she's bored because like things might be more scary so she might have a different idol i don't know that's something i could think of would be a nice touch mm. yes rather than having like a huge list of idols which is randomly chosen or something like that mm -hmm. 
Uh, anyway, good development. Mm. Oh yeah, time. Tokyo RPG Factory with these I am Satsuna Lost Fear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's the one I was thinking about. Ah, okay, I see. Right, yeah, that was that's... also that. Yo, okay. the prime, prime subscription, subscription. Poggers in the chats, you know. Thank you for the prime subscription. Prime. We need like th that's a sound where someone says like prime, and with like echo, you know, with reverb. Uh, not I didn't know that the crea didn't know that the creator of, uh, of uh, Cave Story is now um, working at Playism as, as, as a staff member. Hmm. hmm, that's interesting. He's yeah. basically one of the people. Apparently, he's wait no 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 no. He's not working there. It was it was just like some project that they had some time ago. Okay, it's a bit. Oh, wow. Huh. I just noticed how much of a difference it actually makes to be able to rate, rotate a character properly in the graphics view. Because now I really notice how some of the graphics, graphics could be rotated better. Like now, and this is like mm. the best way, like you have a character here together, you can go through all the directions and tweak things in, in your graphics to make sure it works, right? Before you couldn't do this easily, because you always had to switch between graphics and animations, like it's... At least it was kind of annoying to do that. Oh, yeah. I also think it's funny that for our specific case, that there is no T posing. It's like A posing more like. Yeah, I mean, the reason for that is. I mean, honestly, modern 3D games also don't use T posing, they also use A posing. And I think it's because for the most part, um, arms are usually downwards and they're upwards only in few occasions and quickly. That's why you want to optimize the model for this pose, I think. That's like the most common pose of arms or something. I mean, T-posing also was nice for modelers, you know, because back then probably the tools were not as great. Mm. And they could easy, easily modify if it was T-posing anyway, like stuff under the arm, for instance. Mm. So maybe nowadays it's easier to just have two states where the character's arm are moved up and mm. they can store that too. They don't have to just have one thing. Actually, let me take this now to the occasion to actually tweak Munos graphics a little bit. Let me open a sprite because Photoshop sucks. Um, <laughs> I mean, like for uh, actually, I prepped so much stuff for for this for, for next week. Um, you seen? You haven't even seen half of it yet. I I I did tryouts for Ooh. the buttons. I did a tryout for the options menu thingies. Oh, damn. A couple okay. of versions, and I did I did try your attempt, um, just to see how it would look. Mm. Um, so I did a version of that, and I actually for that we have to use uh, Photoshop because Photoshop has clipping masks. Yeah, you know? I mean there's certain things, especially for interfaces, I still would use Photoshop for a lot of things actually. Um, Why is there like a pixel line in Juno's legs? Yeah, that's the one I'm actually removing now. Those pixel lines ah. here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's exactly what it's on the long. Mm, this is annoying. I wonder what it is. It's actually in the graphics. Just you can yeah. it. So that's why, that's why I said it's nice to have these kind of things now. Because now you can... It's easier to find, out, find these issues and tweak them now. I want this better. Yeah, just wait until you can do it with the middle mouse button. You don't even have to go into the wheel. I'm fine with using the wheel. Uh... Okay, let's see. Why does it flip here? Should go for the A pose. <laughs> That's better.
Why are the, the stock pixels there anyway? I think they're kind of like they make it look better, especially if you rotate the leg. That's why. Mm, I mean, mm. you always you have to make compromises. Like, um, obviously, it should look at least okay for the idol, but um, like uh, having a little bit of this roundish border here makes it look better when it's rotated, but those actually don't make sense here. I mean, sometimes you add this to make it look like, yeah, there's like some folds in the fabric, you know. That's also part of the reason. Okay. Oh man, that one angle in the normal pose is not um, flattering. Hmm? You look kind of sideways, but one step downwards. This one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just the, it's just the, the direction. June was looking at right, so no problem. It's just how it is, right? No, actually, the head rotation is not perfect either. I wanted to talk with this about uh, Thomas. Like the rotation here is not enough. The eye should move a, one pixel more because you see here it's like it's too little. Here it's too much. It should be the opposite. Oh yeah, you actually right. Like yeah, like that's also why something like um, I would like to go over with Thomas. Like trying to tweak this to be a bit better for you know. Mm. Um, because then we should create a proper template from this based on Yuno's head. Um, I mean, we, bear, we won't use, won't be using 16 directions too much. Like for eight, it looks okay. It's just those in betweens here. I think also not this. It's one. even hard to do it on a controller because of snapping, right? Because of the controller naturally snaps. Yeah, 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 a yeah. Bit. But still, I mean, um, it just makes uh, some of the frames just look better. I think if you. Mm. Back is okay. It's just it's just actually mostly this frame. This is the the one that's most annoying. The others work, I think. This one maybe a bit more to the side, I think. Has the same issue here. Too little rotation, more rotations. It's actually the opposite. Like naturally, this one should have more rotation. This one should be little rotation because think about it. If the eye is at the front of a sear, then it moves quicker first and then slower as it comes closer to the edge, right? That's why mm -hmm. here faster, faster, slower, slower, but here it's actually jumping. So this is also not ideal. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to talk with uh, Thomas about this. Um, I mean, the good thing is we can tweak those things and usually that, that will make uh, Yunus uh, Poses look better. I also have a cool idea for an idle pose. Mm. We'll need some custom graphics, but it's mandatory. Oh no. She has a big tail, so she has to do something with it. Oh. Okay, I think this looks better. Now let's go to the torso anyway, here. Anyway, I, yeah. I will go now. Mm. Uh, have a nice rest evening. Yeah. Evening. I mean, we shouldn't make it do, uh, go on for too long, I guess, because Felix is very sad and tired. No, am I sad? Why? Yeah. Oh, no, he's just sad. <laughs> no, I just thought you would. Because we, we don't really um, do streams for that long anymore. That's true. I mean. Also, Felix, I just realized something. Go back to the to the graphic. Yeah. To the to the tile set. I mean, uh, not tile set. To the char to the pixel yeah. set. Hmm. I just noticed something, but I'm far behind the stream. In a second. Okay. Do you not see a Mogro somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did you know? I mean, what else would you make a joke about if you Damn see it. random pixels? <laughs> There was, I think it was a knee or knee or shoulder. I kind of looked like an Amogus. So, knee or shoulder looks like Amogus. Yeah, something, something. <coughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. Is Stefan already gone? No, I will go now. No. 
Okay, okay. I will just keep oh. tweaking graphics a little bit, but otherwise I think the stream is we're pretty much done. I did actually reach my goal. I, I made the rotation work for graphics, so that's already a big win. I probably still need to implement it for collision base, but that won't be too much work. Good. Also, uh, there's also another game that dropped. There's also another game that, that I want to make some advertisement for before we stop. Mm. And that's the Deck 13 game. I played, um, there, was all, there was the Deck 13 booth at Gamescom in the Indie Arena that had three games. One, Chained Echoes, which is a great, great game, especially if you like JRPGs and turn-based combat. But I think we talked about that a lot already. Mm. Anyway, check it out, it's good. Uh, then there is, um, I think, Rising, High Rise City, I think is the name. It's like a city skyline, but also has like, um, uh, Anno or the settlers like um, economy uh, resource chains on top. Like you produce, like for example, you produce like wood, and then the wood needs to go to I don't know to the to the chair shop or something. <laughs> I don't know, but it has that kind of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So it's like a more complex building game. And then there is a game called Rising Lords, which I actually played. And it's very fun. It's ah, uh, it has a hmm. It's how to explain it? It's ki a bit like Heroes of Might and Magic, in a way. It has like the heroes kind of combat system. Mm. Maybe with a bit more interesting uh, combat arenas. Um, and from. I think a bit more complex, like economy uh, part, and it's very good. I'm just gonna say it's it has a very interesting, like classic medieval like art, art style in some way. Mm. It's, a bit, it's a bit of a mix of like a board game medieval, not board game medieval. How do you say it? A bit a, a bit funny, f funny jokey style and like um, medieval style, Medi like classic medieval art style or something. It's hard to describe. At first glance, you would think, oh, that looks like a board game, but it's it's not. It's a video game with a bit of a board game style, but it, it, it's... I, I don't think the, the, the Hexfeld... The Hexfeld uh, forms even make... Uh, play much of a role. Anyway, check yeah. it out. It's good. And it's by Dex13. And it's by German people. Very mm -hmm. nice German people. I talked with them. It's fun. And... I think that's about it from Gamescom. Well, there's more from Gamescom. It would it would be easier if Flora was there because then she could talk about that fabulous mm. party she was too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of our developers visited a very exclusive Gamescom party, but Hen and me were not there. Yes, we didn't have enough tickets because Felix is like, no, we don't need those. I mean, They're honestly, I, even if I wanted, I couldn't have bought them. I would oh, really? I had to do it in ahead of time. Like okay, you can yeah, only buy them. First of all, I couldn't have bought them obviously. because I would have we have to be exhibitionists. Like we would have need to have a boat. Exhibitionists? A no ex. What do you <laughs> say? Is Exhibitors. Exhibi ex Exhibitionists is something Jesus. different, Felix. Why would they do this? So I mean, but on. maybe they also, but maybe they also <laughs> accept exhibitionists as a party. Felix. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might be. Maybe the exhibitor exhibitors can become exhibit. <laughs> Exhibitionists, or I don't know. Exhibit. <laughs> exhibition. It's you gotta be worse. an exhibitionist to, to join this party. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and then even if I would have been one, apparently it's like very hard. Was very hard to actually buy tickets at that time. So yeah. If you do it early enough, it should work. Considering this one other friend. Yeah. If you do it ahead <laughs> oh. of time, early enough. That's... You is interested in in our exhibitionism. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Yui Lootness. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna check check the style yourself if you want to. It's kind of it kind of has a board game aesthetic mixed with some medieval kinda like art style I think. A bit. Mm. And it's 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 fun, I liked it. And it has a demo apparently. No, it's 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 already right. It's early access. 
Right, it's early access. So you can buy and play it. And right, it also <laughs> it also has a bit of a of a deck build not really deck building, but it has like a card game mechanics for like special abilities in combat. Which is interesting, but also reminds me that um, I noticed at Gamescom, especially at the indie arena, that uh, you know uh, deck building is really popular right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it deck is. building mechanics, often with like roguelike mechanics, I think. But uh, there, were, there were a lot of games that had like deck building mechanics or some kind of card game mechanics, which. Um, I often saw from afar because, again, I didn't really play that many games because it was usually very full and lot, we didn't have that much time and stuff like that. But um, usually I saw from, saw from afar like, oh man, another game with like some sort of card game stuff at the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think a lot of those were like your typical uh, roguelikes with deck building stuff. Which is, I mean, I, I get it. It's, uh, it's usually a very interesting and flexible mechanic because because of, of the random factor that you have of the or rather controlled random factor I call it because you can like control how your deck looks to a degree mm. you always have a bit of a thinking on your feet kind of um, part of your game because you always have to work with the cards you draw bye Kovac oh, bye so yeah, nice thing. That was one of the things that I noticed. And also board game aesthetics. Also a thing that apparently feels somewhat popular. But maybe that's, but maybe that's just German games. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking of uh, of board, uh, board romantic. Of dwarf romantic, especially. Mm. Rior says, for having played a lot of trading card games, having a possibility to get the fun of deck building without having to pay half my salary each month is pretty neat. Yeah, that's, I guess it's true. That's true. I mean, that was even true for the, for the actual di digital TCGs I played, like Duelist, especially Duelist, but also Hearthstone, but especially Duelist, because, I mean, sure, you could buy more cards, but usually, uh, First of all, you get free cards, and secondly, even if you buy cards, it's cheaper than actually buying physical cards. So, <laughs> right, Dorf Romantic is coming to Switch, and I we, we talked with one of the um, developers, or I think it was a social media, social media uh, manager, mm. and he talked to us about uh, how, <laughs> once again, Switch was challenging to port to because of uh, performance stuff. Which you wouldn't think by uh, of a game like Dorf Romantic, but since um, the maps could potentially become very, very, very big if you're a very good player, uh, they p had to limit stuff a bit there. Uh, in that case, mm. <laughs> in terms of like wor world sizes and stuff like that, that's very interesting. Hey, uh, we got a Prime subscription by Bill Fork Thirty Four. Oh, thank you. I'm saying, I'm saying hi, but I have to instantly say goodbye again. Have a good stream, everybody. Thank you and thanks for the subscription. Yes, we will. The, the stream will be over soon as well, I promise. But I'm tweaking things. Another thing that's super important I want to talk about real quick. Um, my favorite VTuber, Sarah's Fauna from Polo Life Myth, not Myth, Polo Life Council, had her f one year anniversary recently. Mm. Same for the rest of the council. It's really happy, but I couldn't couldn't watch any of those streams because I was at Gamescom. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Man, pain, Peko. What a shame. Yes. Oh, and the controls were some kind of an issue at first in Dwarf Romantic. Interesting. So I guess it's because it's more of a mouse, it's, it's more optimized for mouse control, I would assume. It's, there's always a bit of a, a challenge, right? If you have like a very menu-based or map-based uh, control scheme that's very mouse optimized, and then you have to, uh, have to do it with controller and stuff like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And also, I want to I wanna also quickly talk about um, how I've become a really, really big fan of a, of a VTuber who Felix also would really like if he actually watched <laughs> streamers. Mm. 
and it, it, it is uh, Holostar's English member um, constantly for it's Vespa Noir, right? Vespa Noir of Tempest. It's always like uh, what a mouthful. Hmm? Yeah, it's a mouthful because Vespa, for example, as a word, which is his first name, is kind of similar to my brain to Tempest, which is the name of the group, basically. It's very, very hard to remember. Anyway, he's great. He's first of all at least our age, Felix. So I think he might be even a few years older from his taste and from his mm. the experiences he talks, he talks about. Secondly, he loves riding bicycles despite living in, a, in the US. Wow. Which is, yeah, he's he's a total bicycle nerd. He talks so much about bicycles. It's so funny. <laughs> and about fishing and camping. It's like, great. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, his gaming taste is very much... For, um, he does like a lot of like so, uh, 90s and 2000s PC games and like West RPGs and stuff like that. But he also has a very good taste in... Um, in JRPGs, in class, in especially PS1 era J uh, JRPGs, which is very close to Felix, Felix taste, in that he loves Cro uh, Chrono Cross, he loves uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, mm. and he also loves uh, Xeno Gears, which, which is, is like a game. Yes, which is a game that Felix constantly talked to me about back uh, back in the day, and but I never play got it. into it. I played it a bit, but I just didn't. I couldn't get into it. It was too slow for me. I don't yeah. know. I just couldn't. Couldn't. And also, I had to play it on a shitty emulator. I think. Yeah, so. that's probably part <laughs> of it. I mean, yeah, gameplay-wise, it's not really the best game, but the story and the world building is, I think, quite something. Yeah, he was really passionate about it and talked about some things that I already t told you that he was very why certain characters were this were super great in how they're framed as super badasses and stuff like that. And how mm. they're framed in relation to the hero and things like that. Found it really interesting. And yeah, he's also really great with memes, with old memes, like 2000 memes. He, he's, he, um, one thing that I had to laugh about because of uh, my experience with my talks with you back in the day, Felix, mm. was like, he talked about the old messengers, like AIM, which I think no one really used in, 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 in Europe or in Germany, right? You mean RSC so, or what? No, uh, AIM. Did people use AIM in what? our days? What is in AIM? Germany? What the heck? Uh, it was the AOL instant messenger. Oh, no. I'm... It was really popular actually back in the day. It was one of the big messengers. Hmm. Next to MSN and ICQ. And I had, to, I had to laugh so much because he said something, yeah, AIM was like more of a normie thing, quote unquote. And the really cool people used ICQ. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow, ICQ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you was the shittiest IRC. of them all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't count IRC. He also mentioned IRC is something, but IRC is um, is more like Discord. It's 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 not really a messenger. It's more like a chat. It was more like a chat. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Oh no. You guys, is my stream still working? Yes, you are. All right, okay. I was thinking maybe this was a first stop of the stream because my internet is broken again. No, it's it's me. It's me. Hello. All right, okay. Am I back? Yes. I think we should Am end I... the stream. Wrap it up. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to uh, ask you, Felix. I mean, people. I'm just gonna search on Wikipedia. I mean, do people call Discord an instant messenger? It is actually. Uh, voice it over is kinda, huh? Because I see Discord more as a chat platform, but it, like IRC, even though it's from a technical standpoint very different, obviously. But I guess you could call it an instant messenger. Hmm. It's hard to make a. Okay, even even IRC is called instant me Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. I mean, the messages of... are sent instant, so. Yeah. 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 It's just I kind of makes this distinction between stuff like ICQ and Skype and um, MSN on one side and Discord and IRC on the other because one feels more like a one-to-one -one 
messaging program and the other feels more like a chat room thing so mm -hmm. of course you can bo use both for both yeah it's okay okay yeah whatever <laughs> Anyway, he also talked about IRC, which is a sure sign that he's old. Mm. Because IRC... Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure most people uh, people that are like 20, 25 these days know IRC, necessarily. <laughs> uh, what software is this? Uh, you mean... It's our custom editor, if you, custom if you mean Custom-made that. animation tool. Yes. And yes. also, anybody know if this is a spiritual successor to CrossCode or not tied at all? It is kind of a spiritual successor in a way that the, that it plays kind of similarly, I guess, but it doesn't have any um, story connection to it. Uh, and Yui says, he just dead. Yes, I was just dead. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I see even back then it was more of a of a nerd thing. Because ISC was also a way more technical thing compared yeah, to like yeah, ISC, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, ISC, ISC was basically... How would you say ISC? It was a s chat system? Uh, that I, think that, could... I think that Linux people still use today, I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> Linux people and certain IT people, because ISC is pretty... Hmm. is a pretty secure thing and you can do a lot of modding and stuff like that for it. Yeah, it's very uh, well, flexible, I think. Yeah, yeah. And very perform, perform, performative, performative. Kind of, I don't know. It performs very well. Mm. And uh, it was very popular in the late '90s and early 2000s. Mm. It was basically how we met, how Felix and I met, because yeah. we were we were rather active in the um, RPG, in the German RPG Maker ISC channels. That's true. Yep. Because I and and I was less of a forum person. Back in the day, and Felix also didn't post that much on the forums, I think. Yeah, I never was super active in the forum. Yeah, yeah. IRC, Internet Relay Chat. Yeah, that's... Yes, IRC, Internet Relay Chat. No, I, uh, IRC. I, I think I said IRC, IRC right? IRC, yeah. IRC. IRC. Maybe I... IRC, maybe I yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I pronounced it wrong, but it is IRC. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what ISC would be. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's check, let's check it. Let's check a look. Imperial Space Command, Indian Society of Cinematographers, Intervision Song Contest. What the fuck? Oh, it's like mm. okay, it was like an Eastern Eastern Europe thing back mm. in the day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, it's my accent. Yeah, I'm German. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm German. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. Irk. Yes, I I I also called it Irk back in the day. When Irk. I was younger, Irk. Irk and Mirk and Oyirk. And. Oyirk. Uh, Oyirk. That was. I think that was the, the, the server that we were on. Like the the general server. Like you had like QuakeNet, you had Oyirk, <laughs> and several others. <laughs> By the way, actually, like some months ago, I actually checked, actually put a. Uh, installed, quote unquote, MIRC again. On, I think my laptop or this PC, I'm not sure. And um, checked, and the RPG Atelier channel is actually still on. And it had like a pretty funny, <laughs> um, pretty funny, like, um, greeting message that says something like, yeah, uh, Disco they, they threw shade at Discord in some way and says, yeah, the cool people are still on ISC. It <laughs> mm. <laughs> was really nice. Yeah, speaking two. But then again, speaking two languages is not that big a deal. I think I, I still need to need to finally get into finally start learning Japanese so I can finally be ready to go to Japan. I mean, oh, good uh, luck with that. I mean, actually, rather uh, understand things that are Japanese, like read Japanese doujinshi properly. Uh -huh. Very important. Mm. And also listen to VTubers without subtitles. Oh boy. Okay, um, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Yo, yo, yo. B-boy. Yep. 
That was, that was a good stream, was, was kind of productive, I would say. Very happy productive, I, yeah. I, happy I got this feature done, pretty much. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it for the stream today. Um, there will be more streams in September compared, compared to August, which I think only had one stream. So sorry about that. Uh, yeah, like I think uh, at least two streams in September should, should be doable, right? I think so. Um, and yeah, let's see how the project will continue from here on out. Thanks everybody for watching. See you hopefully again on our next game just stream, whenever this will be. Felix. Wait a second, Felix. Yes. We forgot something very important. Yes, play the track. Play the track. Play the track. Where's the track? Oh, the track. Snake PT87. Which one were you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering who, who actually. Hey, well, it was nice talking. Um, yes. It was nice talking to everyone that we met, basically. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, and next Gamescom, I think it's actually possible that we will have some kind of booth. Um, so that might make it easier to meet up with people. Unless we only have a business booth and it might be higher again. But yeah, we'll see. I think uh, we would also... Ah, yeah, a... Chris from Serage. That was very nice talking to you. Yeah, Serage, they're working oh, right, on, some, right, on, on a mobile right. game. Uh, kind of like a location paced game, also looking very interesting, very yes. nice shell, uh, cell shaded style. If you have anything, uh, any link to plug the project here, feel free to post it in the chat before the stream is over. Quickly, do it now. Um, I forgot, I forgot, I don't know the link. Uh, I have, I have a cellrage.com and I can post it real quick. Yeah, sure, you can post here. Post here. Right, so okay. like a quick shout out, it's another team also funded by the German government, like so many other indies now. Um, anyway, Give yeah, it was nice talking and back to the stream. The stream is over now. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, hope stream to see you again next stream. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think my timing is watch kind of Sarah's off today. Fauna and, uh, watch Sarah's Fauna and do... Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I'm still. Damn it. The stream I... is still running. The stream is still running. Yeah, Felix, then, then, then to keep the stream up real quick, I need to, I need to find a good goodbye, goodbye. Oh, ah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. You Felix. barely used the soundboard, man. Yeah, it's man. Been, I, 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 I spent almost two hours getting it back to run today. <laughs> oh my gosh! And all I get is some freaking V2 goodbye it. sounds. <laughs> Let's do like the proper traditional. Bye. Bye, everyone. Okay. Until then.